live. Right, I think I'm live. I think I'm live on YouTube. That is the scary thought. Okay, um, let me just make sure on my phone that I am live. I'm actually live. If not, I'm just saying live over and over again. I am. I am live. I'm probably watching myself right now. Probably the only person right here at the moment. Why is nothing working? It doesn't seem... Oh, no, it is working. It is working. We are here. We. Are... I've got two likes already, apparently. Okay, so I'm here. Uh, let me just post it on Instagram to tell people that I'm here as well, so they know, because if not, this will just be a very lonely chat. Uh, how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing this evening? I hope you're all uh, having a great day so far, live stream. I've posted it. Oh, it's, I need to wait one minute. I've, I've jumped the gun too early. Um, I can actually post this instead. I'm, I'm good. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? I, I've lost every sense of what I can do because I'm just terrible at streaming. Web, enter link, um, swipe up. Right, people can join. Welcome. Hope, uh, let me check the chat, see if anybody's here chatting right now. Oh, yes, we've got some highs. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you, mate? How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you, Leo. I'm doing good as well. Thank you. I hope you're all doing well. You know, got six people. You know, it's more than I was expecting. So rock on. <laughs> Let's go for it. Um, yeah. Hello, everybody. How is everyone? Right. Let me just literally wait. Right. Now I should be able to post you a story on Instagram. Then we could just jump straight into it. I have also got quite a lot of questions from you guys as well. Uh, so I'll be answering them throughout the chat as uh, throughout the stream as well. Um, right, that's working. I, I I don't know why I've just lost every sense of being able to do absolutely anything ever. All of a sudden, people watching me. I hope this ain't too boring at the moment. Actually, me like fumbling around should be a lot of entertainment. I reckon me not being able to do absolutely anything. You can be brutally honest. I've got I've got to wait seven seconds. I'm not even joking. Five, four. Three, two, one. Right, now I can post it. Right, there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the longest I've ever waited for my own count countdown. Uh, keep. Right, now. Right, that is good to go. Also, how good is that photo of me? It's absolutely amazing, right? Um, then just do the link. And then we'll just jump straight into doing some editing. I'm sorry if you guys have, like... You know, I'm rusty. We know this. Uh, swipe up. Lovely. Uh, oh, God. I don't know why there's... An, all right, right. That's all done. That's all done. How are we? Right. Hello. Hi, Adam. How are we? How are we all doing? Right. Uh, so, yeah, I've got some questions from you guys as well that I'll be answering throughout the stream. We're going to be here maybe about... I don't know, half an hour, probably up to an hour, probably around an hour, I reckon, editing photographs from Edinburgh. I was there very recently. Absolutely beautiful place. Scotland, Edinburgh, everywhere up there is just absolutely fantastic. I think I got some absolutely fantastic photography. The POV for that video will be coming out Monday, Tuesday, hopefully. Hopefully I'll get it done over the weekend. That will be out. I've already got one video sorted, which was technically supposed to be the last video I was supposed to release, but it's probably going to be the first video i'm going to release um it's it's all a bit of a, a madness but yeah let's just jump straight into it now how do i get this working right if i jump on youtube it should have switched screens i'm i'm, I'm double checking myself now but also the chat is delayed so this isn't this isn't helpful also at any point if the audio and the camera isn't properly synced up i do apologize um it's first stream. I, I think people are like, wow, the stream is on my phone massively like delayed like by three minutes. Let me just catch up. I'll be waiting there a while to try and catch myself up because it would be a conundrum where I'd actually never... Oh, 10. We've hit the 10s. Is a Canon uh, 2000D good for beginners? I'd say so. Um, I'd say so. Why not? Why not? I think I think it should be... I think any any camera, if you're starting out, should be decent. Like, I started when I was doing it. I started with a bridge camera. So if you're starting with a DSLR, you're, you're winning. You're winning immediately right there, buddy. Um, anything that can... And I think it's really funny, but people say any camera that can shoot manual mode is great. But um, my, my frame rate seems low. Um, 
I don't know what I could do about that. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm using micro USB to the computer instead of HDMI because I didn't know how to figure that one out. So it might be a little bit delayed. It's, if people actually see my screen, right? I'm still speaking on this screen. Wait there. Is that now right? Now, now, now we're now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay. Uh, border small me. There we go. Look, I made myself a little border as well. So now I should be. I should be in the corner right here. Hi. Um, so actually, let me just readjust that. Let me just readjust that. This is like becoming very, very annoying. I know. Um, right, we're good. Okay, so we're just going to jump straight into some of the photography. Now, one of them I actually wanted to jump straight into was this one right here. Went to Edinburgh, and one of my favorite photographs has to be of a taxi with a puddle. Okay, uh, this one right here. Now, um, my normal process of editing photography, the first thing I do usually is crop, um, is looking forward to this live, Kurt. Let's hope it goes well. Me too. If it doesn't, start <laughs> editing. <laughs> Thanks, six shooter. Calling me an absolute peasant. Absolutely love it. Uh, how are you doing? I am doing great, thank you. I hope you are doing well. Call me a peasant. Right, rightfully so. Um, but yeah, I'm doing well. Hope you are doing well. Um, so yeah, first thing I do when I normally start photo uh, photography, editing, is cropping. So 4 by 5 aspect ratio, crop for Instagram. I can always adjust this later, but then I've got all these presets. The these are, this is how hard I've been working on my new presets. Look at them all. Uh, I'm trying to get it up to over 100, um, but each of these presets has taken time to actually make them, and each of them are just... I think in my last preset pack there were 12, and this one is going to be over 100. And straight away, this one, cinematic tones. I think this looks absolutely baller. I love this preset straight away. And there's a number of things I do to my photography. So the preset doesn't give me my look straight away. It uh, gets me like maybe sometimes 80% of the way there, 90% of the way there. And this one straight away, this works real nicely for what I'm trying to achieve with this one. So I kind of like where everything is actually placed. So I might just bring out the shadows a little bit so it brings out a little bit of the taxi here because of the blacks. Bring that out a little bit. Drop the blacks here. Um, what that pre hits the hand. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, six shooter. I I'm not even going to repeat that, what you've just said in chat. Jesus. I don't know whether to laugh or be concerned. Are you okay, buddy? Um, um, yeah, so then what I'll do is masking. So what I'm doing is pressing um, Alt. Um, Joe Howard, hi, everyone. Hello, Joe. How are you doing? Uh, so go into the masking and I'll bring that up. So what I'm doing now is I'm pressing Alt and then holding the mouse, the left key in the mouse. And it's just telling me the white areas, this is what is going to be sharpened within the image. And I'm just going to add some sharpness to it. And I think that is um, going to be the first photograph done. I kind of like that. It's This reflection is just so cool. Wait till I show you another example, then export it. Uh, then what I normally do as well is when I'm doing my um, POVs is I'll go to copy settings. And I'll check none of them apart from the crop. I'll copy the crop, reset it, and then what I'll do is I'll paste the crop and then export it again. So I've got the before and after. So when I am doing my um, editing and how I do, I've started doing that transition a bit where I basically can go from the before and after. It really just shows kind of a little bit of how I do um, my editing, the processing, and how I get it from you start from where it's finished the editing. Uh, Joe Howard, I'm good. I'm glad to help, buddy. I, I'm I'm good. I've been nervous. Um, I, I'm not Joe. I'm not uh, gonna lie there. I have actually been really nervous about doing my first live stream. People have actually been asking me why was I nervous about doing my very first live stream. I I don't know. Well, I do know. But when I'm doing my videos, it's really hard sometimes for me. I'm a fluster. I fluster my words. I I can't get sometimes a sentence out about stuttering and it's so annoying i'm jealous of people who can literally speak to camera and get everything out in one take it would make my videos so much more quicker easier and straight to the point um you you, you, you um sorry i just saw the chat i got in trouble once for sharing a number plate you think it's a big deal um i don't have a deal with it um Everyone has a number. I kind of look at that interestingly, where people have a problem with people sharing number plates. People know my number plate on the car, but it's the same as you could go outside your front door and see someone's number plate and then do something with it. 
So what's the difference with seeing it on a photograph? That's how I um. I, 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 that's how I see it. I don't think there's a problem with sharing number plates, um, because you could just go out on the street and say any number plate ever. Um, reminds me of your oh Edinburgh, Edinburgh. I found this really, um, Leo. I found this really interesting fact out about Edinburgh. Let me get to another photograph because I'm just waffling at this point. Um, so this reflection right here looks it looks insane. This reflection, but yeah, I found that. Scott, uh, Edinburgh is technically smaller than York. That made no sense to me that that is, that is smaller than it actually is. Right. Um, I saw your story. I bet it is intimate and because you can't edit it out. I know. I can't edit anything. Anything, you know, this is why I was encouraging people to come and see my very first stream because you're going to see the epitome of terrible and you're going to love it. <laughs> I'm loving it. Um, so here, I'm just what I normally do is one of my presets. So I, I just keep looking through and see which one is going to be the best. And I can't actually decide with this one. I've got this one, Dark Flicks. This is pretty cool uh, for Netflix kind of vibes. But um, you had a man for street photography. P planning on coming to Sheffield. I am. I am. I am. I'm, I've actually propped my phone up on what I'm, where I'm going to be coming and do my next POV. The next POV I'm going to be doing... I feel like I should have done a QA and a rather than just do it, it, doing an editing at the same time because I've hardly edited any photographs at the moment. Um, how do you get those presets? Um, they're not available yet. They will be available soon. As soon as I motiv my, motivate myself to actually get them complete. I've just been so busy at the moment, but they will. as soon as they're out, I'll let everyone know. And if you've bought my previous preset pack, I'm going to be giving everyone 50% discount on this next one so you can get the rest of them as well. I thought that would only be a bit fair as well. So the next time I'm coming to Sheffield is when um, I'm going to be shooting with this. This is the Nikon D70. Um, it's very old camera, like 14 years old. Only has six megapixels. Um, six megapixels, that is it. It has an ISO range of 200. Doesn't even have 100. 200 to 1600 i'm going to be probably shooting mainly with the uh, the 35 f 1.8 uh someone over on instagram actually lent me this uh lens to use for the pov so i really appreciate that so as soon as the spare battery arrives for this camera i'll be coming to sheffield and see this camera as well 30 pounds this body i bought it used for 30 pounds so this is like the ultimate budget bottom of the barrel setup and i reckon we can get some good photographs of it so i'll let you know i'll put it in um on my stories on Instagram when I'm going to Sheffield. So if you want to meet up, join me. Let's go for it. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, so any tips for making presets that apply well to a wide range of photographs? Um, mine always come out super. It took, uh, there's no like quick way for me. It took me a while to really learn how to make presets work for multiple scenarios because I'd make a preset and it only worked for that one photograph. But I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on that one because it's really hard to explain how I've done it. Right, let's just get on with another photograph for now. Um, so this one right here, this guy has a motorbike. I reckon this would be pretty cool. Also, if there's any technical problems at any point, you know, audio or anything like that, just, just let me know. Um, right, so this one right here, what can we do? Um, again, cinematic tones just works really well. This one that I've made, this one kind of works quite nicely. Um, we're not, don't worry, we're not going to be editing all the photographs. I'm only just going to be editing a select few, to, a few tonight because, as you can see right here, there's like here at the bottom, there is, I don't even know why I pointed at my screen, there's 446 images here. And if I'm talking how I'm talking and not editing, um, we're going to be here probably for the next 12 hours. Um, have you been able uh, been to the Peak District? I haven't been to the Peak District recently. The last time I went was probably my first year of university or the end of my first year of university. And um, it was incredible. The views, of, it was miserable, raining, went up onto the top of a hill, which we probably shouldn't have done because it was just super, um, super windy. I lost my my water cover for my, uh, my, uh, my protective thing for my bag. It flew off. I, and then when we went up again the next day and I found that the drops were mega and I was just like, oh, I can't believe I've climbed this hill when it's like hailing, like 40 mile an hour winds. It was mental, but that was the last time I went, but I want to go back up again. When I get my driving license, I'm going. 
I'm going. It's going to be so good. Um, so this one right here, what am I doing with this? I'm just fiddling around with all the adjustments. I think that looks pretty good. Where was the before? Okay, is also, is the stream quality okay? Um, oh, because I have my phone, it looks terrible, and I'm hoping that is not translating to you guys. Because if it does, that's going to suck. Um, so anyone can let me know, that we will. Hey, we're up to 18 people. Now, do you guys have, like, nothing else better to do? You, <laughs> you're just watching me? <laughs> you've got, like, Netflix, you've got, like... Now, I'm, why am I even saying this? No, just stay. <laughs> Uh, streams of good quality. Hey, we got good quality. Nice. Thanks, Maxwell, for telling me. Oh, sorry, I've missed some of your questions as well. But I look forward to recommending um, buying an A6400. Solid camera. A6400 is such a good camera. If I'm buying it, six. I've heard the 16mm f1.4 prime lens for the A6400 is really good. I've never used it myself. But from people I've spoken to, it is a really good, nice, nice wide lens. But also, that 1.4 nature of it is just absolutely, it's it's golden. Um, so we'll leave that one there. I kind of like what I've done with that one. Just turn down the exposure a bit to 0 0.66. Um, and I think that one will be decent. We can export that one. I'm happy with that. Or taxi. We've got to get another photo of a taxi because why not? Um, I feel I've got a better one here. This is kind of cool. I like these kind of like side on shots of um I'm the um <laughs> six shooters leaving to watch um Netflix, Netflix and chill. I haven't actually found any well, there's a lot of new like street uh lure TV programs on Netflix, but there's just so many I never find the time to watch any of them, honestly. Um quality is crisp. This is just so good to hear. Everything I'm worried, everything is going too well. I, I don't think that's right. You know, everything is going too according to plan. I shouldn't jinx myself. T touch wood, touch wood, honestly. Um, this kind of preset right here. Now, this one doesn't work immediately because the exposure you might be able to see on the right hand side here is at 2.43. So, way overexposed for this scenario. But if I just bring that back, and now I don't personally think this preset is going to work. And this is what I often do when I'm editing is just trial and error because. You might figure that one preset works for one, but it doesn't work for another. Um, so this one right here. Also, my naming system for presets is awful. Okay, this one's called Big Softy. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I have no idea, honestly. But I kind of like it. This kind of vibe aesthetic really works for this kind of shot. Um, and I, I kind of like that. That's fine. And the other thing is as well, the 61 megapixel sensor on the A7R4 is insane. Um, you're all over the place. I'm the same, but trust me, you're doing fine. Yes, that's what that's what we want to hear. I'll get better. What I, I look at it like this, right? The first time you do something is the worst time ever. So if I make this live stream at least half decent, then I win. All right. I think we've already got a W at this point. Anyway, how are you finding dri getting your driving license? Nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. I've uh, signed up to a cancellation app. And I've actually got a test booked for the 11th of August. I shouldn't have actually said that because if I fail, people are going to be like, did you pass? Uh, but no, cancellation app, I've actually signed up to it. Uh, but I'm actually trying to get one earlier if I can. Um, just it, because of, you know, the whole world or the situation at the moment, everything's just been, everything's just been pushed back. It's so annoying. I think my car has to go into the garage again. There's something wrong with it again. And it's just like, oh. All right, I think we've done with that one. What do people think? I, I kind of like that. So, sometimes it's not always about like over editing the images as well. Like that is a very subtle change, but I think that kind of works. Oh yeah, uh, Joe, it is like so stressful, honestly. I'm lucky that I've got my own car because I think I explained it when I was doing my video. I've actually, I'm going to go back a bit. Um, I've got these cool photographs over here to look at. Uh, where should we go? Where should we go? I don't know. Oh, we've got Grey Side Bobby there. Um, where should we go? I don't know which photograph to edit. I'm just going all over the place. I have no... This one, umbrella, rain. You can't beat it, right? You can't beat it. You can't beat rain and umbrellas, all right? It should rain more in the UK. Actually, it shouldn't rain more in the UK. We get enough bloody rain. Um, Can you... One of the nature shots next. I can if you want. Um, Also, let's have a look at... I'm just going to close my thing on my end very quickly so I can answer one of your questions. Um, okay, that's a very quick question. Domino's or Pizza Hut? Domino's. 
now I fancy a Domino's, man. Um, when yeah, but I'm also past. I, I don't know about you, uh, about you, Joe. Uh, but yeah, I, I, you literally just said it right there. We're thinking exactly the same thing. Um, yeah, I've got my own car, so it does help me because I know how my car works. Like I'm not going into a stranger's car doing the test. I'm in my car. I know how it works. And if the driving instructor doesn't like the quality of my driving, he can get out and walk. Okay, I'm not having it. <laughs> He's like, if you don't like it, you can walk. Um. Yeah, Domino's or pizza? I haven't had a pizza in ages. That was a very random question. I wasn't kind of expecting those kind of questions, but, you know, we'll go for it. What lens would you get next? Oh, I think people already know this. My next lens. Oh, this this preset might work. Chinatown. Um, it's just some kind of... <laughs> Domino's is expensive. I will say that. Domino's is too expensive, man. Just that I'd rather than getting a pizza, I mostly just there's a pizza place near me which is absolutely amazing like better pizza than Domino's. Oh no, I can't really say that because no, it does. Their pizzas like nearby me are absolutely amazing. Oh, this preset right here, I've just applied looks so good. I love it. So it's brought out a lot more blues in this image, which I kind of wanted because of the, the rain and everything like that. So I kind of like that with what uh, they've done right here. Four by five again, just crop it to about here. And again, if we look at the before and after, it's really simple, but I think that's kind of efficient. I don't think we need much more to this one. Um, I, I like this one. Oh, this one might have to... Oh, sorry. I'm going all over the place. I need to focus. I need to focus. Um, yeah, next lens, 70-200 f2.8. Hands down, I've always wanted one of those lenses. I'm, I'm thinking of actually hiring one for like a weekend and playing around with it to see what I can do. Um... But yeah, 70 to 200 F. Um, shooting an old convertible BMW, which lens? A 70 to 200 F 2.8 or 85 F 1.4? If you can, take both. But mm, that's, that's, that's a difficult That's a difficult one. I don't know. I'd say 70 to 200. But if you have both, take both. Go. Texas, hello, uh, greetings from Texas. I love we've got someone away in Texas watching me. What? This is insane. How much planning do you before, uh, how much planning uh, you do before shooting a YouTube video? It depends on the video, honestly. Like, for some videos, I have, most of the time, I have notes. So I have a notepad on my phone where I just write, like, ideas I've got. So I've got, at the moment, three or four different video ideas that I want to do. And then I'm just sometimes writing notes saying, you know, points maybe I should look at, areas I need to focus on. Um, for some videos, I have a little bit more of a script. So the DJI um, Ronin RSC2 versus the Weeble S video, there was a little bit more scripting in that one. So I knew what I needed to say. So I was getting the point across. Um, so there is a bit of planning. Um, and I think that usually is quite efficient for me because as you can tell probably by this live stream, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the gaff all the time. So by having notes, it helps me focus a little bit more so I know where I need to be. Um, just wondering, I've had that one. Uh, I'm just wondering, do you have the Samyang AE F1.4? The Samyang AE F1.4, 85 F1.4, I wish I did have. The Viltrox 85 mm lens I've got is really good for photography at f1.8, but for video, it sucks. It, I, I don't know if I've got like a little bit of a fault with mine, but from everyone else I've seen, um, they don't have like a focusing problem, but mine does. It's a little bit weird. Um, all right, so let me get back onto this photograph. So yeah, 85 f1.4 is really good. I uh, highly recommend it. And what are you switching from as well? Um, first lens is the new Sigma 28 to 70 f 2.8. That's really good. That is, you if you get in the 85 and the 28 to 70, you're golden. You've got like a an amazing setup right there. And yeah, really interested to find out what you're actually switching from. Yes, Leo, you got the Sang Miang 85 f 1.4 after I recommended it to you, and it was um, it's such a good lens. So this one I've applied the big softy onto it. Uh, big softy, can't believe that's a that's a preset name. Uh, so I'm just going to crop this in a little bit because I like the kind of aesthetic we've got going on here um, with the car on in its own. What's that? Oh, we've got some shoes hanging. Okay. And then I like this image, but one thing I'm really not liking about it is this stay sign. 
it's really distracting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click onto it, go to edit and throw it in Photoshop. And it's a bit of prop sensor, Canon crop sensor. Looking forward to the increase. Oh, sorry. Did you say what camera you were going to? Oh, A6. Did you say A6? Sorry. I'm just like, oh, for the gas. Um, Darren, what did, did you say what camera you were actually switching from? Uh, switching to, yeah, what camera you're switching to? I'm interesting because you're saying you're moving from crop sensor, so you're going full framed. It's a Canon 6000D. Oh, 600D. I don't think it's 600D. Oh, that's a decent camera. Oh, that's well, that's really good. Okay, so we're now in Photoshop. So this is going to be, um, if I had angle with me, um, so. This sign right here, what we're going to do is I've got this square tool right here, the, what's it called, the rectangular, I'm dyslexic, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, that tool, and I'm basically just going to highlight this right here. So that should hopefully be done. Yeah, that's all good. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to edit, and then we're going to do content aware fill. Now, hopefully this will do it automatically, but I don't know. And let me just catch up on Right, it's loading and there look at that look at that just from doing that press ok and it's gone and i think that just makes this image look so much better if we turn it on off we can see that this distraction right here on the right hand side of frame it's just gone since uh you're in lightroom can you show us how ridiculous to type up in the a6 yes yes the a7 r4 let me find a really sharp image and i'll show you how ridiculous the um Sony A7R4. It, it is insane. It is such a good camera. Um, crop, crop, crop. Yep, yep. I, I, I think I, I crop a little bit too much because I know the Sony A7R4 is just so good for it. Um, but to be fair, most cameras are just so amazing, as well, honestly. So there you go. Look at that. Perfect. So that was the before. Actually, can I do... I don't know if I could do this. Can I do it before and after? No, I can't. Well, I can, but I, I'm not having time to figure it. So just from doing that, you can see it just, I think, makes such a contrasting difference. So export that one. I like that. That's kind of cool. Um, let me find a really, well, we can really sh zoom into. What do you think about Sony a7 III? Sony a7 III still a fantastic camera, but it'd be interesting to see what they do with the a7 IV. Uh, the a7 III is... It, will, it, it still rivals like Nikon Z6 or Z7, even to this day, because it is just fantastic. So if you're looking at it, I, I know a lot of photographers who still use that camera because it just doesn't let you down. Um, and I just got it in this year, and it's amazing. Sony, yeah. I'm, I'm glad I went to Sony. I got a lot of stick for moving to Sony. But I think it was like the best decision, right? Um, right, you want to see this is a kind of cool photograph. I'm thinking for this photograph, a kind of vintage vibe. I'm I'm thinking like like a little bit of grain, and this is a really sharp photograph. Like, look at that. I am zoomed in on a 61 megapixel sensor, and you can see so much detail still. Now there is a little bit of fringing uh, because of the um, 85 mil lens, but that's kind of what you find with this like budget kind of lens. But that is just insane. Um, how well you can crop in to this image. So what I want to do is I want to throw again four by five aspect ratio crop onto it. Um, I know it's so good. Um, and what settings are shooting at as well? That sharp at f one point eight, so really shallow, two thousandths of a second, and ISO three twenty, perfect. Um, so now we're just gonna. I'm, I've got. I've got a a black and white grainy one, but I've also got a color one. Um, grainy, here it is. So this is a bit of grainy, uh, grainy color I called this one. Very creative name, you know. I should be naming buildings or how creative I am with names. Big one, tall one, small building. I'd be just amazing at it. Um, so turn down the whites a bit on this. I feel like I'm saying um a lot. I need to stop doing that. So I kind of like where we've gone with this. So let's just have a look at where we got. Yeah, I know. I, I don't actually, yeah, I, my longest focal range for, I don't need a telephoto, honestly, but the longest focal range I actually have for the Sony is actually not even a Sony lens. It is, I'll show you. Wait, let me grab it. Oh, it is this one. This is the lens, my longest focal range lens. It is, what is it? It's a 80 to 200 vintage lens. That is the longest lens I have that I can use on my Sony. It's a bit mad. 
it's it's just very expensive, I guess. Well, I'm just saving for my next lens. Why do I think it? <laughs> Why do I think they need to? Yeah, they should. <laughs> big Ben, big one. You know, big big thing, big thing. Um, I know sixty two megapixels. That's just insane. Um, we've also got another question. Uh, I need to start answering another question. So for this one, let me just finish this edit first. Let me focus. I, I can't do it. Um, so I'm going to add a lot more grain to it. So we're going to add a lot of grain to this one because I'm kind of liking that vibe. But then what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to go to this tool here and I'm going to bring it down to here. Now, I don't know why I've got it on teeth whitening. Definitely haven't been whitening my own teeth in my spare time with my own photography. You know, anytime I smile, I've definitely just not been adding that little bit of shine onto it. Um, so then we're going to go to temperature and I'm just going to bring it all the way up and I'm going to bring it to about here. I'm going to go to this color here and just add that. Add that so it's kind of like a sunset like flare in. Um, but this looks too much. Obviously, right now, this is way too much. It looks absolutely awful. But we're going to go to the range mask here. We're going to go to luminancy and we're going to bring down the range. I'm going to bring it quite high to like 91 maybe a little bit lower, maybe about there, and then bring the smoothness down to 100. So now it gives me a bit more flexibility to go to about 92. Bring it up to about here. And I think that looks pretty cool. What do you think? I, I think that looks pretty decent. You know what? Yes. And that is, we'll have a look again before, after. I also like the, the character, the, the person in the shot. You know, she's got the camera in her hand. She's got her glasses down, but she's still got a hat covering her eyes. So it can, I think it creates a little bit of mystery behind that as well. Um, so uh, Luma AI, I haven't used it. I actually haven't used Luma AI, I'll be honest, on, right there. Um, I don't know if you've ever used it. Um, I, I, I Is it, I presume, just another editing software, is it? I think, didn't... Peter McKinnon use it for like a video where he like changed the sky and everything like that, if I'm right in thinking. I don't know. Um, let's have a look at another question before we jump to our next paragraph. Um, here's a quick one. Max or Hamilton for the World Championship? Max. I want Super Max. I want Max to win. I want Mercedes dominance to win. I'm sorry. I know he's a British driver. Lewis Hamilton is a one-in-a-kind driver, but I just want Max Verstappen to win. All right. Um, let me know your thoughts. Do you even follow Formula One? I'm interested if anybody here actually watches Formula One. So let me let me know what you think. Um, what would be? Oh, here we go. That's the question. Now, what would be your ideal? Even as a Mercedes fan, I want the dominance to end. Yes, yes. We've got people speaking reason here. Okay. I mean, I was so happy when Nico Rosberg won. I was, like, so happy. I was, was like, yes, bring it on. But I was gutted when Ferrari just absolutely bottled it when they were winning. I was so gutted. But now, yeah. I think it's just getting... It's kind of funny because I think there was a, a, there was a quote where um, Lewis Hamilton said that Sebastian's Vettel dominance could get boring. And then literally from 2013 on or 2014 on, it's just been dominant throughout. What is it even with the UK photographer scene and F1? I don't know. I don't know. F1's ace. F1. I've been following F1 since I was like three year old. All right. And um, I've just always loved it. I was supporting Michael Schumacher. I've been very lucky to meet Schumacher. I've met a lot of the drivers, Lewis. I'm just, uh, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what the correlation is with UK photographers and Formula One. It's just a great sport. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's just ace, isn't it? I, I don't know. Come here to Italy and do some street. Oh, I want to go all over the place and do city street photography, honestly. It would be so good. Um, we got... It would be so... Yeah. What, does anyone else have any, like, Formula One, like, stories or been to Grand Prix? Tell you, it is, it is so good. I would go this year, but it's, it's getting expensive. Have you done any motorsport photography? Um, I did um, some motorbiking, and when I went to Formula One, I did some photography there. Um, but I want to do a little bit more in the future. I do a lot of car photography here and there when I can find the car because my Vauxhall Corsa honestly isn't like, isn't the best subject, but it's, you know, you could probably do something creative with it, I guess. But yeah, I want to do more car photography. And the, the, the advice I actually have for that, if you want to try and get into it and you're trying to look for people who own really cool cars, have a look over on Instagram, see if you can spot anyone in the UK, supercar clubs. 
maybe contact supercar clubs because they might have a lot of people who have Porsches, Lambos, whatever. And, they, and if you offer them some photography, they'll take it. You can add it to your portfolio and then, you know, you're straight in there with some more car photography. Um, but yeah, I've actually got some car photos here. I can actually edit in a minute. So we've got this taxi right here. I kind of like this with like the foreground to the left and the right here. What do you think about the Sony 70 to 350? Is that a G Master? I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm sorry about that one. Um, is it a available or aperture? Um, yeah, I think that could be quite good. Let me let me know. I don't know. I swear if it's available aperture. I can't remember on that one now. I think it is. Uh, so this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down here. I've got one that might work uh, preset matrix. Oh, that's a little bit too much here. Maybe I could bring up the exposure a little bit. Bring up the exposure a bit. Bring up the shadows. Bring down that. Nah, that's a little bit too much here. Moody dark green. No, nope. You should come over to Portugal and I get over and shoot here. There are so many places I want to get over to. I would, I would love that. I'd be nice. Just going to like everywhere, anywhere. Like a European road trip would be amazing. I don't know if anyone's ever done a, a European road trip, but I'd love that. Um, this one. Now nah, I'm gonna. This is the problem sometimes when I when I face when I'm editing photographs. I get to like there's a lot. I go for the presets, but sometimes I just can't find that look that I'm looking for. Oh yeah, no, now I found it. No, nope, never mind. Look at that. Bump up the exposure a bit from that. I kind of like this kind of vibe we got going on here. Bring up the pinks a bit. Um, and I think that's good. I think that is good. Let me get a drink. I'm just talking and talking and talking. We've been streaming 35 minutes already, have we? Damn. Time flies when you're in front, I guess. Um, perfect. We'll keep that right there. And I am happy. Yes. So car photography. Let's let's jump over to some car photography. Hey, from Brazil. Hello. How are we all doing? Um, oh, here we go. Some car photography. Let's have a look. We got ourselves a Porsche. Look at that. That's that's a really cool shot. Yes, it, 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 someone wanted. Someone also wanted to. Oh, sorry. Someone wanted me to have a look at some nature photos earlier. Completely forgot. <laughs> if I forget, or oh, you tell me to do so, and I forget, just shout at me in chat. Just be like, oi, you're not listening. Um, I'll do that after. Um, let's have a look at another question whilst we're doing this one as well. Um, how long you've been to? Oh, how long have you been into F1? Oh, I've already said that. Three. Um, next POV already said that. Sheffield D70 be really cool that one. Um, oh, that one's a bit of a, a bigger question. I'll answer that one in a minute. That is that is a lengthy one. Um, what would be your ideal setup if money wasn't an object? Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Um, my ideal camera setup, I hope you've got a pen and paper because this is a long one. I just had to have a think about it then. Money was an object, Sony A1, camera one. Camera two will be Sony A7S three. Um, it would then have 85 F 1.4 from Sigma, 70 to 200 F 2.8 from Sony, 24 to 70 F 2.8 G Master from Sony, 16, to, 14 to 24 f 2.8, 16 to 35 f 2.8, um, 50 f 1.2, 35 f 1.4, and 200 to 600 just for now and then for when I'm doing wildlife. And that would be my ideal setup. Realistically, that would probably cost over 20 grand. But you know, that, that would, if, I, if money wasn't an object, that would be my camera bag. But you know what? I love the equipment I've got right now. My equipment right now is absolutely amazing. Best equipment I've ever had. And yeah. And the 85 mil, the 85 mil lens, that is, I can't believe I've never picked up one of those lenses sooner. They're just so good. I would like also an 105 f1.4 and 135 f1.8 as well. Um, we've got big fan. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. How many, how many pictures do you make when you do a POV? So for this one, I've nailed it down to 447. Now, all of the, not all of these will go in the final POV, right? Uh, but this was two and a half thousand photographs for this day alone. So I just take a lot of photographs and P 
people sometimes question why do I take so many photographs? It's just because I can select later. You know, we're not in a digital we're not we're in a digital era. We have been for many, many years now, but you don't have to um worry about storage or anything like that. If you don't like them, delete them later. It's a really simple, cool process and I love it. Absolutely love it. I've I've just flustered like three words in a row there, Tony. Um 85 has to be on the shopping list. Probably get the Samyang for my new A7. Yeah. Sam, uh, if you get the Samyang F1.4 for your A7 III, you are just going to be absolutely going. It's going to be an absolutely amazing setup. But I'm looking for, hopefully, I'll see some of your photos on the hashtag CP Photos. We are still trying to get that to light. What about 100? What about 100 to 600 lens if Sony sorts one out? I don't know what Sony are do. Uh, Sony, a uh, Sigma, sorry, you said, didn't you? Oh, if. Well, this is the thing. It's, I don't know why Sigma, they may, they've they made a 100 to 600 in the past, 150 to 600. Why don't they make it for Sony? It makes no sense to me. The same with the 70 to 200. Like, they make it for Canon, Nikon, but I don't know why Sigma haven't jumped on making a 70 to 200 for Sony users because they'd sell like hotcakes. People would buy them everywhere. I'd buy one because it'd be cheaper as well. Also, I've been editing this photograph again way too long. A shock wow okay if uh, 2001 day how many oh no that was 2500 with the sony i had to jump onto my second memory card when i was doing it with the sony a7r4 uh, all these photographs a7r4 were take uh were taken with the a7r4 but it's because each photograph as you probably know 120 megabytes each and that day, I and that also that wasn't including the GoPro footage as well. There was a lot of GoPros footage rolling. That was over four hundred gigs, probably, really easily. How about that for a car photograph? All right, we're going to go to a close up of this car. We've got this cool shot from above. I like that. Um, so go here. Yeah. So. Also, let's have a look at another question, and then we'll have a look. Do you think there will be a Sony A7 IV? Yes. Hands down, Sony are working on it right now. They have to be. The Sony A7, uh, A7 IV is going to be amazing. And if the right specs are there, I might have to look at getting one myself. Um, yeah. The um, What were people's thoughts? What do you think? Sony A7 IV? They've got to be working on one, right? It's been what since twenty eight? When did the A seven three come out? Is it twenty eighteen? Twenty eighteen, roughly. Actually, you know what? We can have a look. Actually, not that window. Also, don't let me forget. Don't close that window because if I actually close that window, right, I will end this stream. So I don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> that would just be an abrupt end. Uh, Sony A seven three release date. When did it come out? Yes, I agree um 2018 wow yeah 2018 that camera's that camera has been out for three years now and it is still one of the best mirrorless cameras on the market i kind of like this shot right here that's pretty cool um yeah uh sony a7 IV. this is my predicted specs i think it's going to have between a 24 megapixel sensor to 30 megapixel sensor it's going to have very similar focusing system to the a7 um r4 or the a1 or the sony a7 III because they're all fantastic autofocus system it has to have 422 10 bit video output it has to have it that is what it needs 4k 4k 60 fps i think that's the minimum it will have and it has to have to because i think it will compete alongside the canon r6 um more than anything um but yeah and also, I want a flippy, tilty screen. I want one of those screens that flip all the way around so you can see yourself when you're actually recording videos or something like that. Um, but it's going to be interesting because I think there's rumours that it, that it might come out in September. But honestly, I don't know. Uh, how, what do we think about this photograph? I kind of like that. I like that. One thing I don't like is the grass in the background. I chose the A7 III last week instead of waiting for the A7 IV. The A7 III is still an awesome camera and upgrade from Canon EOS R. Oh, you were shooting with the EOS R. Yeah, because the, I don't know if you're doing video, but the EOS R doesn't have built in in body, it doesn't have IBIS, does it? And it also has a crop when you're shooting at 4K. 
kind of a letdown now, but then Canon all of a sudden whacked it out the park when they bought out the Canon R5, which I was looking at, but then I was just like, it's too expensive, you know? And also at the time it was having its overheating problems, which I don't know if it's still having. I don't know if they still have that issue now. Um, but yeah, so I, I will leave that photograph right there. I'm kind of satisfied with that. I'm actually going to bump up the contrast a little bit though, because I reckon, yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to focus a little bit. Oh yes, we got to get we got to get a shot right here. I'm back. Food break is over. <laughs> back to editing. <laughs> um, yeah, I need. To, I, I don't know what I'm going to have food now. Someone brought up Domino's earlier, so I'm really fancy uh, fancy getting a pizza now. Um, chicken and bacon. Chicken. Oh, deep cinema. Look at that preset on that Porsche badge. Ooh, ooh, -hoo! that is nice. I also sound like Mario a bit there. Um. Uh, so, Curtis, when you come into Huddersfield, man, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I haven't been to Huddersfield for ages. Uh, I'll let you know. I'll let you know if I go I'll go over to Huddersfield. Um, it is a bit. It's a bit crippled for video. That's uh, such a good preset. Look how sharp. Like there you go. You want to see how good the sixty-one megapixel sensor is? Look at that all the way zoomed in. That is insane. How amazing is that? I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty amazed by that. You know, it, I still can't get over it. I still can't get over it, how good that sensor is. And I think we'll leave it right there. That is good. Um, yeah, ESR is crippled for video. I don't regret Switch, but switching on my... That, is the, that was the problem I had when I was going from Nikon to Sony. I had so many lenses to switch. I had to sell my 100 to 600, 150 to 600, my 50, my 24 to 70. I had to sell another camera. So it was a big transition, but I think the transition was well worth it. Uh, but yeah, it's the lenses that will really cripple you. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to be sticking with Sony for a very... I don't think I ever will switch back to... I won't ever go back to Nikon. Nikon are fantastic, though. Like, their recent like, Z line, lineup of lenses is actually impressive. Like, they have absolutely started smashing it, which is great to see. But it was also the prices of their lenses as well. For me, even though Sony lenses and Sigma lenses are still expensive for Sony, they're more cheaper than Nikon's brand new lenses, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I reckon USR. USR was great for photography, but as you said, crippled video. It was really, really bad for it, which kind of sucked. But again, Canon are now back on the ball with it, which is great to see. I would love to have a go with a Canon R5 or R6, something like that, um, because I've got a couple of mates who shoot Canon, and the colours, Canon colour science, it's good. All right, it annoys me to say that, but it is good. But I think the new A7S III, well, not new anymore, it's only been out a year, that has, like, new, it had new Kodaks and everything like that. So those new co colour Kodaks, I'm hoping, will translate into um, the new A7 IV, because if you got temp... I've worked with 422 10-bit video once, and it was with the Nikon Z6. Also, this photo is looking so good. It was with the Nikon Z6, and it was absolutely amazing. I was working with the Atmos Ninja 5, and I've never worked with better colors ever. So big up Nikon there. That's clearer than my future. <laughs> Free now, man. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. My, um, I, yeah, I don't know if you're trolling me right now. This, this is kind of funny. Um, well, look at this. This look at this wedding car. I like this composition. Eighty-five of one point four again. This is a kind of cool photo. But look at that. Look how sharp and crisp that is. Um, feel free to have a go with the EOS if we meet up. Um, all right, I'll, I'll give it a go. Um, you know what? Yeah, we will maybe do that. I'll, I'll I'll give it a go. What lenses do you have? As well? I'm interested. In what lenses do you have? Because um, yeah, Canon Canon's. Uh, uh, range of lenses now are just they're amazing absolutely amazing expensive but amazing you get what you pay for you just have to sell your kidneys your legs your arms and everything to be able to afford them probably um <laughs> just go onto the black market get rid of it all what a new camera um this one right here this is pretty cool i like this bit of reflection because that's actually the um here this, this is actually the what is it I've forgotten. Side mirror. What's it called? I can't remember. I've forgotten the name of it. I'm so bad. Um, 
this is pretty good. I like this. I like the tones. This is the what I think I used cool tones for this. Cool tones. Oh no, did I use cool tones. I might have used cool tones. I can't remember. A lot of the presets I use uh, now translate well to a lot of um, presets I use. Wing mirror. Wing mirror. There's the word. <laughs> Thanks, Leo. <laughs> Just like oh, this taxi driver here. He looked so frustrated at first. Right, I've also just realized I've been using 4G this whole time to look at the chat, and that means I'm going to kill that. Um, yeah, uh, this text driver here looks so annoyed, but don't worry, next photograph. It's all good, it's all good. <laughs> um, I've never had a problem of really taking photos of people in public. I've never met like a Karen or anyone like that yet who was just like super like, you can't take photos of me in public, actually, I can, but I I'm not kind of that way. If people don't want me to take their photograph in public, or I've taken their photograph and they want me to delete it, I will do that. I've done that in a lot of my POVs. I go around doing photography, and sometimes someone said, oh, I didn't want that photo taken of me. And I'm like, that's fine, I'll delete it, you know. But some people, you get talking with them, and then you take even better photographs and everything like that, because you get to find a little bit out about them. So this is the Cool Tones preset, and I reckon this will look really good here. That looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe I should do the one with the taxi driver when he's not, like, you know looking so annoyed at me i'll do this one i'll, I'll edit this one because he look he looks happier there and rather than the other one um but where have, where have people been recently have anyone been anywhere doing photography you know i'm also interested you know I, there's so many places i want to visit I, I would love to go to london i was looking at doing at the 10th of july uh but it's so expensive like 80 quid on train 80 quid damn expensive how many photos snapshots um, how many photos snapshots you with your Sony A7R4? Does that mean? Do you mean how many photos have I had taken of me using my Sony A7R4? Uh, for the Canon, I have a 50 f 1.8 baller, 17 to 40. Um, that is good, and 100 to 400. How's the 100 to 400? Because Sony make one, I'm really interested to see how that works for photography. Um, I don't know how many photographs I have of me using my Sony A7R4. I would actually like new profile picture. I would like a new profile picture. That is something I would like in the future because mine's like back in December now. So, and yeah, I just like an update. When were two weeks ago and London last weekend? Jealous. I'm jealous. Yeah, got to make the most of uh, being allowed to travel. I don't, hopefully, I don't think there'll be any more travel restrictions or anything like that, but you've got to make the most of it just in case, you know, Mr. Boris Johnson, Mr. Mr. Him in uh, 10 Downing Street decides that we need to, you know, just kind of, uh, just got to, you know, be careful. And, you know, I thought also, I'm not going to, I don't want to go into all of that kind of stuff, but I still need to get my vaccine. I haven't actually booked it yet. Um, have uh, Shaq Picks. Hey, hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to say hi. Have a, a small time in there. Shaq Picks, hello. I, 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 you messaged me yesterday saying you might not be able to join. It's great to see that you've been able to join. I hope you are doing well, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Edinburgh, Durham, Durham, and York now sell out them because of the fucking trace app. Oh, I mean, look at this. You've got photographs to edit, you know. You know that that's that's what you gotta look at. You got a ton of photographs to edit, so but hopefully everything's gonna be all right for you, man. Um, hopefully you know it's not the all clear, but yeah, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'll be honest. Oh, I need to start editing this photograph now. Uh, I'll be honest. I feel like I'm very lucky in that sense that I've travelled to a lot of places and I've never been had that issue, and I've been literally all over the gaff. Um, I am planning on going to Liverpool soon and Manchester again. I'm planning on visiting. I'm interested though. I want to go to Liverpool, but what camera do I use? Do I use the Sony A7R4 or do I use the Sony A6400? Let me know. I want I want to take one of the... I, I feel like people are going to say the Sony A6400. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm happy to take ever. Uh, either, sorry. Um, stay safe, sir. You're doing a good job. Hey, thank you. I'm glad people think I'm doing a good job. And you know what? It's actually a lot of fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna say right here. I've been doing this 52 minutes I, all day. I was so nervous about it, but you know what? It's actually I don't want to say easy, but it's because it's not. But it's it's fun, you know. And it's great seeing people in chat enjoying themselves as well. You guys are absolute legends, all of you, all of you are absolute legends. And I'm thinking in the future as well. I'm I'm throwing a lot of questions at you guys. I'm thinking maybe doing hashtag challenges, maybe looking through the hashtag, editing your photography. If you would like to see all of that, just say yes, 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 or no, 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 or whatever, 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 whatever you want to say. I'm interesting. What kind of things do you want to see? 
Um, same with kind of video ideas. If you want to see anything specific tutorials, I am going to be doing a photography editing tutorial video in the future. So if you want to see that as well, let me know. Curse, just wondering if you could send me the photo you took me. Oh, did I not send you that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll send you that, mate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I will I will get that sent to you. Um, I, obviously, as you know, I went to Edinburgh and everything like that. I must, and I was so busy, I must have completely forgot. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, that's kind of cool. I like that. People, someone actually asked me in one of my videos, uh, it was my Newcastle one, and I haven't actually, my Newcastle POV, and I actually haven't, um, replied back to the comment that someone dropped. It was, why do you take photographs of like bush drivers all the time? I don't know. I just think they look really cool taking photographs of bush drivers and driving. And sometimes you can make a really cool like frame out of it as well. Um, you know, photographs, uh, your photographs, what are you want about that? <laughs> um, let's have a look, keep looking. Um, what are we doing? What shall we edit next? What shall we edit next? This one's kind of cool. I forgot I already edited that one. Yeah, I've already edited that one. This wait, I think this isn't the same. Oh, this one. Wait, 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 wait. Um, look at this. Look at that. I don't know what I also is. It, why does this guy look so happy? I mean, he, he's just having a good day. <laughs> the sunglasses, the everything. I mean, you could just make some really cool frames out of it. Yeah, I bet it is frustrating. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I. I, I haven't had to isolate once, you know, because or anything. Oh, look at that. Dark Flicks. This is Dark Flicks, named it after, obviously, Netflix. Look at that. Slap that straight on. You're sorted. You're sorted. This preset pack, you guys are going to absolutely love it. It is so good. I'm, I'm very happy. I think my editing style from last year to this year has completely changed. Um, You know, I'm, I'm pushing myself a lot further, trying to go above and beyond and do a lot more kind of different stuff. Um. And yeah, we've got I've got a few people watching the stream, which is always great to see. You know, I wasn't expecting this many people at all. Um, so that's also awesome to see. So I think oh, you can see look, this is actually a selfie right here because you can see me. Look at that, you can see me right here. Um, we've nearly been going an hour. You know what? I feel like going a bit longer. So if you guys got more quick, actually, I need to look at the um, the whatever it is. The other thing I do as well, um, this is something that might be, when I do my POVs, I export my photos at the highest quality. Um, so obviously I've got them like a really 30 megabit, uh, megabyte file or something like that. But when I put them onto Instagram, I have a preset, pre-loaded, pre-ready for just throwing them onto Instagram. So I have a high quality version and Instagram uh, version of every photo, excuse me, every photograph I take. Okay, um, where should we go next? Oh, landscape. Someone wants to see landscape. Let's have a look. We've got islands. Here are the highlands. You want to see some model photos of me? You don't. We'll skip past them. Um, I'm a really bad model, guys. I can't model. Um, fit. See, this one's pretty cool. I like this. Um, look at that. Look at that. Um, I'm going to have to, like, stop you in a minute. I'm going to have to, like... Yeah, you're gonna have to go. Um, it's bloody. So, um, what about this? How about that? What about that for landscape shot? I'm mostly editing f my photos in Photoshop. Is it worth switching Lightroom? Is there any uh, anything Photoshop lacks? I think uh, for me, I always use Lightroom to edit. Um, edit my photography. It's the way I always do it because everything, all your adjustments are here. They're here on the side, all ready to go at a moment's notice. And yeah, Photoshop for me is more manipulation, whilst for Lightroom, it's more about adjustments, if that makes any kind of sense. So it depends on your package that you've got. Um, but yeah, it really depends for you, what, what you need. For me, Lightroom, all the way I spend, mo and also at the same time as well, when you're using Photoshop, you can only edit one photograph at a time, which is no good for me for sorting my photographs because I have maybe two and a half thousand photographs from a shoot. So I need to be able to quickly run through them, slap a preset on, get my desired look. So Lightroom for me, I'd recommend getting it because it is just, it's so much better, I think, than Photoshop for direct editing. 
but hopefully that helps you. Uh, how many megabytes um, one photo and more? With the Sony A7R4, it's 120 megabytes. For the A6400, I think it's about 24 megabytes, I think. As well, I think the Sony, uh, I don't know why, um, because usually how many megabytes a, how many megapixels a camera is, sometimes mostly translates to roughly how many megabytes that photograph is. So when you got a 60 megapixel sensor, I was expecting the photograph to be 60 megabytes in file, but instead of 120 megabytes. Uh, they're a little bit bloated, and I don't know why, honestly. Um, let's have a look at this photograph. This is a pretty good one. Um, let's have a look. How about that? How about that? We can crop that about there. I took um, a similar photograph on my phone, actually. Oops. Well, where are we at? Where are we at? There we are. All right, I'm going to reset this one again. I'm going to start with this one. Let's have a look what we can do with this one, just so you see a little bit. I I'm not a perf when it comes to like landscape photography. Um, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, glad you think I'm doing amazing content. Um, I'm just trying to push myself a lot further. When it comes to landscape photography, I don't think I'm not the best at it at all. Um, I'm, well, I'm not the best at anything because I don't think the best is even a definitive man matter and you shouldn't say that you're the best because I think that's... Just... Anyway, I don't think... Um, I, I think I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to landscape photography because I haven't done it in so long. I've been focusing so much on city photography um, that, yeah, I just decided that yeah, I don't know what I was even trying to get at, but yeah, I feel like I'm better at city street photography than I ever am at landscape photography. Um, you know what? I'm I'm gonna if uh, if I can ask about the ASMR, when I shoot more than one picture, is it over forty megabytes? I don't I don't know. I don't think it would be, but um, maybe try and reach out to someone who has an A7 III and ask them. But I can't imagine it'll be over forty megabytes. Um, our saviors as photographers are hard drives. <laughs> because I've got like two five five two five terabyte hard drives. Oh, that was a bit of a tongue twister. Um, and honestly, I need them so much. And I often work off an SSD as well in my computer because it's just so much quicker. I like that. That's kind of cool. Um, that kind of landscape shot. I like that. And I might do so with that one a bit later. Um, look forward to seeing the same photo from me at the moment. Um. Oh, oh, sorry. Thanks, but I ask about here is Sony A seven R four. Who are you talking about? Sorry. Um, sorry. You might want to just clarify that. Um, let me go back. Let, right. Let me go back to. I'm getting all over the place. I need to just focus a little bit more. Um, where should we go? Where should we go? Where should we go? Um, which one should we edit next? There's a lot of good choices. Here, there's so many good choices of photographs to edit. This is kind of an interesting story behind this photograph, actually. I kind of like, so this is the ki a kind of a photograph where there is a, um, there's a story, to really understand the photograph, there's a little bit more of a story to it. So basically, this this bench has a memory of, of um, a memory of some a loved one. And the man, the gentleman right here, is actually putting his hand on the bench. And it was kind of an impactful thing because it, it, it simulated and looks like that this guy comes to this bench every day, sits down and maybe sits at the bench that um, is in memory of his wife or his partner, his friend. And it's just a very sweet but simple moment. And I think it's translated quite well into a photograph. But yeah, it was really cool. What interesting story and kind of interest. You know, it was a story that needed no words. It was just like you understood what was happening when you were there. So let's do a real nice edit for this gentleman right here. Uh, A7 Raw f A3 is, is it under fit? There we go. Yes, A7 free Raw file seems to be under 50 megabytes for me. Um, if if you're going to be struggling with storage, just get another hard drive. Uh, if you can, obviously, you know, I think you could pick up like five terabyte hard drives these days for like less than 100 pounds, which, you know, it's not that bad. Black and white. Oh, let's have a look. That's such a good shout. Let's see. You actually, chat picks, you've got a right shout there. Yes. Black and white. I like that. That's actually perfect. Yeah. Black and white looks really nice for that story. And it's the detail as well I like with the hand and, you know, uh, it's just, 
it tells a story and that's what you that's what i like to do with photography city street photography is sometimes just tell a story um and there you go we'll export that one that's an absolutely lovely one um next 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 what shall we do which one should we do i like this one this could be cool um this guy i don't know if he's impressed that i'm taking his photograph or a little bit annoyed i think he's neutral in this situation honestly um i think he's a bit neutral let me just uh, also update is the stream still going okay are we still going strong um just an update um empire yeah i made this one called are these new presets? They uh, chat picks. They will be coming as soon as I finish them. I've just been so delayed, so busy, um, that I haven't been able to finish them. But you know, with university and everything like that. Well, not even university anymore because I've uh, finished university. Now looking at moving towards my next chapter, um, wherever that may take me. Um, yeah, but they'll be out. I don't know when. I'm, I want them to be out before August. So probably end of this month, maybe halfway in between this month, I want them to be done. But yeah, stream still going good. Leo, thank you. What do we think about this one? Empire. Oh, drop the exposure down to minus one here. That looks pretty cool. I kind of like that. Bring up the blacks a little bit. It's a shame that this cyclist is here because I think this photo would be better if he weren't there. Uh, sadly, I didn't catch another moment. That was... But you know what? It's one of those things. I think that's a cool photograph. I'm 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 just happy how it end is right there. I don't think I need any more adjustments to that. Yeah. So we have been going an hour. Hey, my very first stream has been going over an hour. You know what? I think we'll go a little bit longer. Yeah. Hey, there you go. First hour done. This is an absolute win. <laughs> I thought I'd be so bad. I mean, I I feel like I'm a little bit rusty. But the first time, you know what? Good time. It's it's not been going too badly. Um. Yes, yes, one hour. Let's go. Um, we've got some other questions then. Um, primes or zooms? Oh, 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 primes or zooms? Everyone, what do we want? Primes, zooms. What what the people go towards? That's hard because I love both. Um, mm, that is. That's also giving me a video idea. Um, <laughs> uh, find your zooms. What do we think? Primes, Leo, primes. Anyone else? What, what are people choosing? Prime zooms. What's your weapon of choice, guys? And this is something you have to choose for the rest of your life. If you're going to like zooms, only got two lenses, do zoom. Uh, I've got my main zoom lens is 24 to 70. The rest of them are primes for me as well. Um, what do we think? Zoom. Yep, we got zoom. We got Zoom and Zoom. Um, zoom is a good shout because as well, like the 85 is a fantastic lens. That's difficult. That's difficult. That is difficult. Oh, man. I'm a uh, photographer. What lens do I need? Interior. If you're doing interior photographer uh, photography, get a wide lens. So I'd recommend it if you're doing interior like 12 to 24 or 14 to 24 if you're doing interior because it's nice and wide uh so if it depends on what you're shooting with as well um if you are shooting yeah so sigma sigma's 14 to 24 is a fantastic lens that's what i'd get um what am i doing with this photograph shoot me 24 so and 10 10 to 20 six 24 to 70 fantastic focal range uh is that a uh, shot picks is that a um is that f2.8 or f4 and 10 to 22 that is a that is a nice wide lens that is a good wide lens that is fantastic and a prime 50 mil prime it's a nifty 50 i think nearly everyone has a 50 in their life at some point oh the cinematic tones on this one what do we think of that i like that i try um hello uh hello lw gaming nice um 20, it's shot 24 to 70 of 2.8. Absolutely. What are you shooting with? Are you shooting with Sony or, or Nikon or Canon? Which one are you shooting with, shot picks? I can't remember. I've seen a lot of your work, but I've actually never... I know you've dropped, like, Nikons in fish tanks, like I have, which is quite hilarious. Um, but <laughs> broken ones. I mean, we've broken the uh, cameras. We've thrown into some... Part. Also, I think my camera's about to die. My Sony A6400 is about to die, guys. This is This is not good. No way, I've got two battery spares, so it might just be black screen. Look at that. 
I've so for this photograph, I use cinematic tones. I've brought down the exposure a little bit. I can actually bring down the highlights a little bit, bring up the shadows just a tad. Clarity, I've brought that down for this one because I, I, I don't like it at like really high clarity for this photograph, but for this one, I just like it a little bit softer. I don't know why. Um, I kind of dig that. What do we think? Yes. Still rocking the Canon uh, 70D. That is that is it's still a solid camera. Honestly, I think people, uh, I can't really speak. I say people get too like obsessed with the equipment. I get too obsessed over equipment all the time. But 70D is still a fantastic camera. I think I've used one of them once or twice. Also, my voice cracked a bit there. Does anyone notice? We didn't notice. We'll move forward. Um, um, still can uh, can get the EOS R for a good price. Anyone else one? Um, someone in the chat earlier had an EOS R. I don't think he wants to sell it though. Um, I don't know. What about? I don't know. Chat picks. Would you be aiming towards the R6? Would that not tickle your fancy? That was a really weird way of phrasing that. Um, evening. Hello, photography diaries. Evening. How are we doing? How are we doing? I am. <laughs> are you actually selling it? Um, Leo, you didn't notice anything. And my voice, my, my voice definitely didn't crack. You didn't notice anything. It's just, it's just an optical illusion, right? Okay. Uh, would he get the same shot with the back of the taxi? Um, cinematic tones again. Look at that. That is such a good preset. People are going to love this one. I like this one a lot. Uh, I would, but uh, I think it is too expensive. How much is it? Um, can I have a look? Let me, let me have a look. We're still only on um, Canon. Sorry if I've just gone away from my editing. Canon R6, oof, 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 yeah, that is expensive. Have you looked on, like, um, Efinity or something like that? Um, that might be a good place. That might be a good shout. Uh, I know it's budget, though, because then again, it depends as well with the USIs, the lenses. What about a wide lens for street photography? I would love one. I would love one. I would love a 14-24. to 24. That would be what I'd get if I could. Um but yeah, it depends as well. I don't mean, I think, I don't know what other wide lenses are available for Sony. The R6 is only 20 megapixels too, which is not ideal if you like to crop. That is true, I guess. Um, yeah, it depends if you like to crop or not. But yeah, I guess. Because what's the Canon R5? 45? 45 megapixels? Sony A7 III, 90 mil macro, 24 to 105G, and 70 to 300G is my setup. That is a setup. Also, macro. Hey, I don't do ma much macro photography at all. Also, we've got a tram photo, guys. I'm tram addicted. I love it. Also, I can't wait to go to Sheffield because I didn't realize until recently they had trams. I was like, nice. They were going to be good there. Um, I just got the 600D. Love it for my first camera. As a first camera, that is baller. You you're doing better than I was uh, as a first camera. That is fantastic. What lens have you got? If you haven't picked up a 50 or a Prime, pick up like a Prime or something like that and you're absolutely golden. But you might have already picked one up, to be fair. Uh, if you can, you know, budget desires and everything like that. Um, I'm trying to get this one straight. Which one? 18 to 55. 18 to 55, standard kit lens. I think nearly everyone here probably started with the 18 to 55. Uh, I just use the 10 to 4 also for street picks. Do you actually? Oh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of your people where you've got wide lenses and I don't have one. Um, I'll get one. I'll get one one day. Um, I just have to, just have to save a little bit. Um, I'll get there. You know, there'll be there'll be a plenty of chances to get those. You know, I got to look at it as well. I'm only like, what am I? Twenty two. I nearly I've got my age then, and I've already got like a Sony A seven R four. So I'm not doing too badly. I'm doing, um, you know, and I'm very humbled that you know I've been able to get so much support over the last year as well. It's been insane, and it continues to grow. Like now, I mean, I'm doing a live stream. This time last year, if you told me I would do be doing a live stream, I'd thought you'd bar me. I'd thought you'd be absolutely bar me. But no, nope, here we are, and that's kind of cool. So yeah, big up for you guys. You are you are all awesome. When you coming to London? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We we were discussing this earlier. It's um, I've actually been speaking to someone who might be able to help me get like um, hotel prices a little bit cheaper. Um, so. We'll try and sort of it. I'm going to try and come down in July. Um, not July. Maybe not July, August. This summer. This summer, coming to a place near you, I'm going to be popping over to London, saying hello, 
and hopefully meeting some of you guys as well because i get a lot of messages from people saying when you come into london when you come into london i don't know i'm sorry i'm just a northerner i'm all the way up here in york by my todd actually but apparently i'm not because there's quite a few of you guys from around the area now so i'm going to be meeting up with some more of you guys when you visit edinburgh it was i came back last friday last friday i came back um so uh sorry you, you missed me and cringe on camera you are braver than me mate it takes practice honestly i'm gonna look back at this stream not the whole thing but uh actually i'm probably gonna watch back most of the stream just to see how good i was i used to be so i i still think i am occasionally cringe on camera i'm still not the best there we go how about that um come on uh come on what other photographs do we do we do uh, I've, it's it's all about practicing. It's all about you know the best way forward with speaker to camera is just doing it over and over again. Like I'm kind of impressed with myself that I've been able to do this. I, I you know I thought I thought I was genuinely like there's got to be a contingency plan if I want to end it immediately. I thought I've got to run. When are you coming to shoot stuff in Manchester? Um, I don't know. Another mate of mine actually wants to meet up in Manchester. I'll probably do Sheffield, Liverpool then Manchester again. I want to go to Manchester when it's raining because last time it was sunny. Um, it's, um, yeah, last time <laughs> it's me. <laughs> no, um, no, there was, um, yeah, last time I went to Manchester, it wasn't raining. I want to go when it's raining, if I can. Um, wish to see more night photography done. Yeah, um, I want to do that myself, but the problem is now, York isn't the best for night photography. It's actually quite bad. Leeds is okay if you know where to go. But Ma uh, Manchester, London are your best places probably for street photography at night. Um, I want to do a night POV. I just haven't got round to it. Oh, we could maybe... Have I edited this photograph yet? I haven't. Um, yeah, I do want to do some night POVs in the future. Um, so when I go down to London, I reckon I'll be doing all that kind of stuff when I go around there. Which photograph should we edit next? I've got so many, honestly. Oh, this this one, this one. I like this one. This one's really cool. Um, yeah. So Manchester, pff, August, maybe maybe end of July. Um, Sheffield first, Liverpool, 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 and then other places. Um, when are you visit Edinburgh? Blah, blah, blah. Just make sure I'm all um caught up in chat. Yeah, well, good. Anyone else actually here do YouTube videos? um because um I've, I've seen some people do this like some people sent me their videos they've done like povs and stuff and it's always just great to see and interact with them you guys and see what you guys are creating as well um so this photograph this was kind of cool i asked a gentleman outside this uh really nice hotel it was like so nice i was like whoa and uh, i asked this guy for his photograph right and um I didn't like the background. And this is sometimes what you have to do when you're doing street photography is just have the confidence to ask people, which can be a bit difficult at times. I used to never ask people for photographs or I never used to hardly. I used to be so coy trying to take photographs of people. It, it made it look 10 times worse when I was trying to take a photograph of someone because I'd be like, I'm going to get your photograph. I'm coming in. And it's just like, and the guy's looking at me and I'm like, do, 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 do. Yeah, just just looking over there, nothing to worry about. Now I'm just like, yeah, own it, go for it. You know, if someone don't like it, just tell me to go away and I will. So this photograph here, I asked this gentleman if I could get his photograph. Didn't like the composition behind with like the pillars and everything like that. Then asked him, yo, can you go to the center a bit? Got the center and look at that. It looks a lot better already. Again, I would have made a couple of changes here because I don't like the, I mean, not like I could have moved it but I would have um, not actually had this like flower pot thing. Also, that is a big flower pot for a little plant. Look at that, all that for that bit, you know. But I kind of like this shot. It's really nice, really simple, um, nice contrasting colors and everything like that. And I reckon we could take this quite far. How do I find York for street photography? Amazing. York is genuinely amazing for street photography. It's just that I've been here so long now. It's, it's, it's not a big city center, York. You can walk from one end of it to another in about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, but it is great. There is a lot to explore. The walls, the shambles, the minster, a lot of the alleys you get look like they've been pulled straight out of Harry Potter and placed right there. It is incredible. If you are going to come to York and you want to get a photo of the shambles, though, come when it's at night, because when it's at night, you will get the clearest shot ever. 
I was in, out in London on my own at 2 a.m. with all my camera gear the other day, and I was terrified of getting wrong. There are some absolute nutters out there. You just have, I mean, they're talking about people like trying to, like being worried about being wrong. Yeah, there are just some absolute, I like to use the word. It is actually a word in the dictionary. You can search it up. Cockwombles. There are some absolute cockwombles out there. Uh, I'm not going to search it up on stream because it, it might bring up. So I don't want to, you know, but yeah, there are some absolute idiots, Mormons, who just want to absolutely ruin your day. And yeah, they're just suck. Uh, so for this one, um, what preset should we use? I like this one. This one right here. This is pretty cool. It's a little bit too dark um, with the shadows in the face, but we can actually just that. I was terrified in a day in London, so now I had to be crapping myself. I think I would be as well. Like, right, I, I, I'm originally from a village, okay? So going into a big city is terrifying. It is absolutely terrifying for me. Like, like when I first came to York, I was like, oh, I'm so scared of the big city. Go to Manchester, when I first went, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to crap myself. Look at all those big buildings, people everywhere, people, you know, shouting sometimes and everything. I was just like, what? Well, now I'm kind of used to it, but London, London's on a whole different scale of, like, you know, how you've just got to be so vigilant, so careful. That's without the camera gear. <laughs> yeah, that's about even getting the camera out the bag or even having it on you, as you said. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 scary, London. It's big. I want to go. I so want to. I want to go to like New York City. You know? New York City, I reckon, scarier though. Like that because you know it's New York and America is just a bit mad, you know. But I would love to go there, New York City. Could you imagine doing a POV in New York City? I'd be shouted at by every New Yorker probably. Uh, what I'll be thinking about this? I kind of like this. You know what? The skin tones are good here. Maybe can bring them out a little bit. Um. What do we think? Just bring them out. Bring up the shadows a little bit. Yeah, that is true of London. No one cares. That is the best thing about London. No one honestly cares. New York. Uh, to be fair, I don't know about New York. I swear a lot of people don't really care. You know, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah. And it looks awesome. Thank you. I think it does. It looks quite happy as well. It looks, it looks happy. Um... There we go. I, I'm done with that one. I'm happy with that one. That's that's sick. Let's move on to our next one. Which one should we choose? You know what? I know which one we should choose. I don't know where it is. This one. Yes. Look at this shot. Look at this shot. I was actually saying on the POV, I'll, I'll probably leave it in, is um when I when I upload the POV, I actually wish I had the 7200. You know what? I shot this at 85 mil f2.5. Again, but the best advantage with the Sony A7R 4 you go to 4 by 5 aspect ratio crop, put it about, let's just say about, you know, zoom it out a bit, put it right there, look how sharp it is. Actually, let me get a different example, because that was a little bit... There, this one, let's do it with this one, let's do it with this one right here, 4 by 5 do it right there, All right. Right there, let me get it precise. Oh, look at that. Look at that, that looks so good. Um, what other ones have we got? Um, I get the, the shot too. Did you actually? Nice, you know, what? I couldn't find it. I actually was actually making, I couldn't find it at first, and I actually made a point in one of my videos about uh, phot finding photography locations. Um, and yeah, I couldn't find it for a while, and I just had to hunt around, but then I realized it must have been elevated on what, what hill was it? I can't remember the hill, C Calton is it Calton Hill? It might be Calton Hill, but yeah, it's so good. Still feels awkward though. What was that? Sorry, mate. I missed that. I was terrified. Uh, that's uh, one thing about them. Um, yeah. I get the shot. To sit. It, it is. It, this is a satisfying street right here. This is just satisfying. Tried to get a long exposure, but it was too windy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Were you trying, I presume, were you trying at night or day? Um, day or night? Day or night? I'm not going to sing. You Don't worry, because everyone would leave. Um... Yeah, um, I, I still need to sort my tripod out. I, I've been looking at maybe some other tripods, but yeah, I'm, I need to get... I've got one tripod left. Actually, I've got two uh, I've got uh, at night, so I could get there. Like, light trails down here would be amazing. That's a good shout. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I didn't go into Edinburgh much at night, to be fair. Uh, I will probably next time, because um, I was just doing so much. 
the light trails down here would be insane. I, I know exactly what kind of shot you'd get from that. I'm just pitching it in my head right now, and it'd be amazing. Um, what, 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 to, which one should we use? Which one should we use? Yeah, this it's a really nice spot up here. I don't know. This is this is where I'm sport for choice for presets because I like the look of quite a few of them, but I just can't decide. I want to go for a bit of a warmer tone. So uh, here, this one could work, right? Random, what's your opinion to the Sony eighteen hundred and four crop? Um, is that oh, is that a crop lens? That's an APS-C lens. Um, if it's a native ISO, I'm um, native ISO, God, native aperture, or you know, it, it always stays at the same aperture. I'd say it's a good lens. Um, because even if you're shooting one hundred and five at f four, you'll get some real nice compression. It was one of the reasons I've questioned, like, do I, do I get the seventy to two hundred f four? because it will still look just as decent. But I was like, nah, I want the f2.8. So, oh, bring down the whites. Look at that. Bring down the whites in this image, and we get the details back in the clouds. Bump up the, the highlights a bit. I mean the highlights. Bring up the shadows a bit. And we're right here. Temperature. Bump that up. Oh, look at that. That's what I kind of was going for. Look at that. Just bumping up the temperature a bit. Not too much, but what do you think about I like that. That that pops. So sometimes with the presets, um. You do just have to make adjustments to them because you're never, I don't think, going to get the final image from that. But I think that looks, that looks quite literally golden. I like that. That's good. Um, one thing I could try and do, don't know if it'll work. We can delete it if it doesn't. Um, let's have a look. It looks awesome. Thank you, Shot Pits. I'm glad. I'm glad other people like it. It's so, Scotland's just amazing. Scotland is just, I love it. I love it. Maybe uh, add a little bit of a blue line in the sky a little bit. Uh, maybe add a little bit of blue in there. Oh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Let me try this first. And if this doesn't work, I'll give that a shot. I'll give that a shout. Shot, shout? I, I don't know. Uh, oh, God, we're going to be going an hour and a half, guys. You know? How long have you been doing photography? Too long. Um, no, I've been doing it properly. I, I started like 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Oh my god, it is 10 years ago now. I started when I was 11, 11 or 12. I'm 22 now. So I started quite young. Um, I would show you a photo of me very first starting out, but it's like super embarrassing. <laughs> like, I was just like, it's baby curse. Um, yeah, I've been doing it about 10 years, but properly how I do it now, professionally, I've been only doing that for like three years-ish, on and off, four years maybe you could say. Uh, I did a scan on this Turn out ace. Oh, did you do that? Did you do that through um, Lumi AI or did you do that through Photoshop? Because Photoshop has now got a really cool thing for like um, sky replacement. Um, could actually give it a go with this one just to see how it looks. That could be kind of interesting. Um, add a bit of color on this one. How about that? Right there. All right. Let, let me just turn it. Oh, I've just I've just broken a key. I haven't. It's a mechanical keyboard. Oh, there we go. Um, wait, was that on T4? Wait, 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 wait. Right, there we go. Yeah, I kind of dig that. Uh, I'm liking what we got here. Add a bit of saturation, maybe. Oh, I actually kind of vibe that, I think. I'm going to people there. It's so, I know that the sky replacement through Photoshop now is just like, it's too easy. <laughs> it's it's like what what's 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 trickier? Like why why is this so easy? But it's good. It's it's like, I used to see how good like some of this like editing software has actually got. It's gonna be interesting to see how this translate if they ever can do anything like that, you know, with like video. I can imagine if in the future they could do like that immediately with video. I mean they might be able to do right like, now, but like that's probably how about that? How about that? I think that's good. I think that's it. I'm kind of satisfied with that. And so look at the before and after. Look at that. I'll maybe turn down the, uh, the temperature just a bit. Maybe just a bit. Keep it in the sky a little bit because I kind of like what we've got right there. Um, bring up the contrast just a tad. And yeah, keep that about there. I think we're done with that one. This, this if, if you go to Edinburgh, you have to get this shot. It's hands down. Good. Yes. Thank you, Shout It's great mood. Yes. I like that. Also, just... How busy, like, Edinburgh is with all the buses and everything like that. It is, it is ace. The tram line's a bit weird. Like, I don't know why they've actually got a tram line in Edinburgh. 
Needs must, I guess. Um, we got someone here with some golf bats. Um, you know, obviously golf clubs. Um, but maybe this. See this one. This is really interesting. How well you can recover the highlights from the Sony. Um, let me just like bring bring the exposure down. Look at that. Then you can just bring up the highlights, bring up the shadows. There you go. You've got it where you need to be. Because in that moment, I was going too quickly. I needed to quickly adjust where I was shooting, and we got right here. I also got. I haven't looked at any questions for Instagram for a while. Here we go. Do you need a degree in photography? If you're talking about a um, a university degree, no, absolutely not. I you. I personally think you do not need a degree in photography to do photography. Most people, I mean, most people right here in this chat, most people anywhere, you speak to them, they won't have a degree in photography. They just, they just don't need it. It's really, I was looking, but um, yeah, as well, it's just a lot of it's theory. Um, it, a lot of it's um, theory i think uh, you know what you learn at university but i don't think that is it you know you need it's the best way to learn is practice you know how i learned was looking at other youtubers and everything when i was very really first starting out i learned nearly everything i know now from self-practice teaching myself but also then having when i was stuck having the guidance of youtube to know other things as well and because i got that help uh, when i was starting out and you know when I was even now, sometimes if I get stuck, I do it. Um, hasn't got a degree. No, I don't think Peter McKinnon does have a um, degree in photography. It's just because I don't think you need it. Um, yeah. Yeah, you don't need it. Um, just practice. And, and because I've learned from YouTube, I also want to give that back a little bit. I want to help other people out as well. Um, because I felt sometimes when I was learning, there was something missing. There was more things missing at the time when I was learning. And, you know, I never stop learning. You never do stop learning with things like this. You know, in life, you always constantly, wow, this went really deep. <laughs> you, you never stop. You know what I mean, though. But yeah, uh, no, don't need a degree in photography. I, I The only degree I have in photography is a GCSE. Oh, and an EPQ? If EPQ have an A star and I have a B in photography. It was actually the highest grade I ever achieved at school was a B, and it was photography. I'm, I'm a visual kind of learner you know i learn by doing i learn by getting into it i don't learn by books theories anything like that it bores the pants off me like that kind of stuff so that's just me everyone's different you know same yeah i feel like my, uh, yeah same as me yeah visual learning you know theory i i used to get so, when i was in lectures at uni sometimes i'd just be so bored I'll be sitting there and they'll be just talking and droning on for an hour. And I just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, it's just, yeah. And some of it was too easy, you know. It's like, yeah, whatever, I'll do that. I like one of these shots. Oh, this shot right here, this nice central shot right here. The person's got some swagger, good walk going on. Um, let's just crop that in right there. Yeah, and fall asleep, mate, the amount of time. The thing is, lecturers need to be enthusiastic. They need to be, have the energy to make it entertaining. My lecturers sometimes just like, I felt like they were on sleeping pills. It was just like, wake up. Yo, teach me something. <laughs> um, That actually brings me on to so another question I've just spotted over on Instagram. How did you find your final year at university? I've left now, so I could be super honest here. I could be. Do people want the super honest truth about my final year at university? You know, people are down for that because, you know, I, I will. Yeah, if one person says yes in chat to hearing about my final year at university a little bit. Yes, there you go. Capital straight away. Yes. Um, I hated it. Final year of university. Absolutely suck. Now, some of that was down to obviously COVID and everything that's been going on right there. But I don't think the university fully did everything they could in their power to help or anything like that also some of the projects i was working on people were just very <sighs> lackluster they didn't put the effort in they didn't put the elbow grease in i was working on a studio show the people i worked on a studio show with absolutely amazing each of them gave it their all worked so hard for it and the final project really shows for that but for another project people just didn't care and i was really disappointed because i wanted to i was taking inspiration from roger deakins 
I don't know if anyone's ever heard of Roger Deakins here, but if you have, he is one of the best directors of photography in cinema in history ever. I think he was recently he was recently knighted um, for his services to the film industry, and he's British, so you know, rock on, Roger Deakins. Like 1917, Blade Runner 2049. Um, what other films? Shawshank Redemption, um, Sicario. He's worked on all of those films, and he's such a big inspiration for me. Like how his like what he does with the cinema camera is absolutely amazing. I could go on about him for absolutely ages, but yeah, final year university really sucked. Didn't enjoy the people I was working with. I could say that now because I'm probably never going to see him in my life again anyway. But you know, it just wasn't a good experience. I also was very frustrated at times at the university because they kept kept saying that they're also how's this edit look? How's this edit look? This was using cool tones. Look at cool tones. That is so good. School doesn't really teach you now about life or money, essentially. No, they really don't, you know. Phone you straight out of university onto your ass, and it's like, right, good luck, get a job. It's like, mm. And, um, yeah, that's been difficult. But that's another topic entirely. But, yeah, the other argument I had about my university is they're equipped. I've said this to people, and I'll say it again. If I was to redo my whole university experience from scratch, I wouldn't go to York St. John University, the university I went to. I would go to London or something like that because I feel like in London, you've got a better location. Or Manchester. Manchester, London, one of those locations are more ideal for filmmaking. York's great, but I, I don't know. York, at least, sorry, London has more. It has everything everywhere, which is just absolutely fantastic. Um, Roger Deakins is fire. Yes, yes, um, yes. Um, I wouldn't uh, wouldn't want to be a teacher lecturer in this stream. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah. I feel like the funny thing is, the people on my course would actually come to me for advice about filming and you know and editing. They wouldn't go to the lectures. They'd come to me like, "Curse, how do you do this?" And it, I'd offer, I'd always help where I could. Also, I think I'm done with this paragraph. I love it. Nice and sensual. Sensual. Bit of leading lines going on, you know. I feel like we haven't edited as many photographs as we should. I can't concentrate on two things at once, guys. I don't know if you've actually noticed that. Oh, this taxi shot could be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, like, what was I saying? <laughs> um, yeah, our, our university, they kept saying the equipment we were using was industry standard. It wasn't. It was far from it. It was industry standard 10 years ago. Like, we were using a Canon C100, which came out, like, 2011, 2012, something like that. And it may be really, and I was, and I went to Poland on a trip flight and I was speaking to some other photographer, uh, some other students, right? And they were telling me the equipment they use. One of them using, I'm not joking, Ari cameras. Ari, Ari cameras in their second year. What? I was like, I think it was like Westminster uh, University, Westminster University or something like that, film school, um, university course. I was just like, what? You're using army cameras. You don't know how much I would have loved. I would have learned so much from using those types of cameras, our university. Like even our diff this diffuser I'm using right now for this video, our university didn't even have anything like that. They don't have, you know, they have like some light things, I think like that. I'm going to probably get someone messaging me later from my course and be like, I can't believe you digged into the university like that. Yeah. I, I, I did I, I did what I needed to do, got my degree and left, you know, and now it's on to, and I, I, I spoke to people in the past and they've actually said, you learn more. And I totally agree with this. You learn more by doing, but, you know, like my next, the way I'm going to learn next is by actually having a job and actually being able to really push it further. I'm a dropout because school board, <laughs> um yeah yeah i feel like for, for some people university college whatever you want to you know it isn't for everyone and that's fair because maybe you just haven't found what you want to do maybe you know university i found my course too easy at times like i was just like it was stressful of course because you had to you know it was stressful at the same time but sometimes it was just like like my dissertation i did it on roger deakins it was so easy it was so fun you know, like, all I had to do was watch a ton of Roger Deakins films, put a lot of research together, throw it together, you're done, there's a dissertation. And people said, and my, and my lecturer was like, no one's ever got a first on a dissertation 
doing a video essay. I was like, well, I'm about to prove you wrong. I'm about to destroy your own career, mate, because, well, I'm going to do it. And I did. I got a really strong first. And I was like, yeah, lock on. It was so much fun, though. If, if something becomes a chore, it becomes boring. It's just that way, you know. Which photograph should we edit next? Um, what degree do you have? My, uh, uh, oh, I have a, a, um, a degree in um, media production. <laughs> I almost forgot what my degree was then. Oh, oh, this could be a cool photograph. Yeah, I've got a media production degree. Um, I did that because I, I was hoping it cover a broad spectrum. And it did but not to the level I was hoping for. But you know what? I've got my degree. Now let's push forward to the future. You know, my English teacher did try really hard, bless her, but didn't, uh, didn't sing it. Uh, but at least your teachers tried. When I was start first starting out of school, my teachers didn't give a bloody rat's ass. But then I went to another school who did. You know, I went to another school and they were, they were just like amazing teachers, you know. But it, and that's the thing. Um, yeah. That's no problem. Yeah. If someone said to me, you'd make a good teacher, I don't think I would. I think I'd be awful. I, I don't know if I'd have the patience for dealing with people. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Mate, we've been nearly going two hours. I'm going to have to, like, I'm, I haven't even eaten yet, either. Um, yeah, I haven't eaten yet. I really fancy a Domino's pizza now. Now someone put that in the chat earlier. I really fancy a pizza. How, how dare you? How are you? What have you done here? Um, this is a cool photograph. What can we do? Um, so what's your next chapter now? Uni is over. Um, um, I'll be honest. I'm currently looking for work. I'm looking for employment. I've actually got secured to it temporarily, um, which is a contract for doing some property videography starting next week, um, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to be doing that, fill up my CV, get a bit of money as well, which I'm, is always good. Um, I wa I am going to be moving back back home with family because um, I haven't been able to secure something full time. Um, it's just been very difficult. The job I've been searching for months and months and months, but the job market is just very difficult right now. And there is a lot more people out there, probably more experienced than me. But I'm, 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 my aim is to get a full time job. I'm looking in London. I'm looking in Manchester, Leeds, anywhere really. And then um, get my own place, get my own apartment, continue doing the YouTube scene do my job as well, get paid, have fun. That's what I want to kind of do right now. And it'll take time, but, you know, I might have to do some other part-time jobs, but, you know, that's just, you know, you've got to build your way up, I guess. It's just a ladder. You know, nothing's ever going to fall into place immediately. So that's kind of my next chapter. Look for word, keep pushing hard, keep working hard, and hopefully it will pay off in the future, you know. You know, that's that's kind of what I'm going for anyway. Um, look for work. That was a very long-winded question. Fingers crossed for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You know, no luck so far. Well, I've got some work. So, you know, I'm doing property videography. So that's kind of sick. You know, let's look at that. Getting some uh, getting some money of that as well, which is quite good. So I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed for finding some it full time. I did find one thing. I haven't heard back from him and I'm hoping I will hear back from him. But the job that I saw was like doing videography for something and I was like all about it. I looked at it and I was like, you don't know how badly I wanted that job. It was just like, I need to contact him to see what's happening uh, with that one actually, if you know we're going ahead or what. But you know, just got to push, push forward. Uh, I'm a kindergarten teacher and I think you would be awesome in a job like this. Really? You think I'd be good as a teacher? Oh, what? You know what? I, I don't know. I, I don't, that's kind of surprised me. What? You think I'd be good as a teacher? I don't think, I don't know. Okay. I mean, I, I know, and maybe a technician, you know, you know, technician on a media course of it, because at least then I could actually educate people, right? And, you know, tell them about cameras, but wish I could move back home sometimes. Um, are you living on your, Todd? I don't know, for me, I love, I, like, obviously love my family, love my family to bits, they're absolutely awesome. Biggest inspiration, my family, biggest motivator and everything like that, you know. Um... But I also just love living on my own, you know. It's like, I don't know. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Um, I, and the other problem is as well, it's going back to a village. So I'm not going to have access to a city as easily. But we'll get there, you know. It's it's a marathon, not a sprint, you know. Plenty of years ahead. Possibly a photography teacher. I don't know, because then I have to teach the theory side of things. That's why I do YouTube. You know, it's easier, you know. You just get it for free. I get paid by uh, Google Ads revenue. 
That's about it. <laughs> I got headed out, man. It's been fun. Catch you later. Right. It's been great. Thank you very much for joining. Um, it's been great having you on board. And have a um good rest of your evening. Thanks for joining. Um, living on my own is awesome. It, it's the bills. It is the bills. If bills were a problem, you know, London, maybe. I've been living in London, you know. But it's 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 pay, you know, all that kind of thing. Also, how about this photograph? I kind of like that. I'm gonna bring down the shadows actually a bit on this one. Uh, bring down the shadows to isolate the subject a little bit more. Bring out the highlights actually a little bit more. Drop the whites, and we've kind of got a similar pattern going on. We've got this red here, this pinkish, yeah, white, and then we've got the repeated pattern. Also, I think she's got the same watch on as me. I think she has. Hey, she's got the same watch. <laughs> Nice. Um, yeah, living on your own is. Um, I've been. I've been. I, I'm currently in like shared accommodation with like other people. I hate it. I hate it. I really don't like living. I, I don't want shared accommodation ever again. I want to be living on my on my Todd. Be ace. How about that? There's another photograph. Right, we're gonna edit a few more. We'll probably go for. We'll go to eight, and then I'll, I'll have to call it there. Um, I reckon. What photograph next shall we do? I also just realized I covered my mouth while speaking. That wasn't a good idea. Oh, we got someone with an umbrella, Ella A. Um, how about this one? I don't know about that one. What shall we do next? Oh, we got big red bus. We got this one. Let's let me look. There's so many photographs here, like I can't choose which one to edit. There are just so many good ones. I am just going all over the gaff as well. Off-grid living in the future, man. Van life or van life. I want myself. Um, can I show you guys? I'm actually gonna show you guys the van I want. This is the van I want in the future if I can find it. Uh, is is it on? Um, VW transporter. Is it one of these ones? Right. Yeah, but I want the camper van version of this. Like, I want one of them. That would be, look at that. Look at that. How sick would that be, having something like that? That would be absolutely immense. Like, could you imagine, like, having that? That kind of van life? Yes, all the way. Uh, because then the world, you, 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 oh, my camera's about to die. Wait there. My camera is literally about to die. Oh, are we down a sec? You're about to go off for a second. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, we're back, we're back, or maybe back, we might not be back. Um, hello, camera, are you loading? Okay, um, camera is refusing to come on. No, wait, it's coming. I'll be back. Give it a second, it should be back. Oh, um, load it. Yes, yes, are we back? We should be back. Sorry for that technical difficulty right there. All right, let's get on. What was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah, um, I'd love one of those vans in the future. That's what I'm aiming for. One of them. If I can get one of them, that would be amazing. Um, the uh, ba uh, bagpipe. Bagpipe. Yeah, my, my, my dyslexia got triggered then. I did not have a clue what you were saying. I was like, I was like, shut I was like, what, what's that word? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll have a look at that one next. So I like this one of this guy. He's got kind of a shocked impression on his face. Um, which one should we do? Got cinema cinematic tones works good. I like that one. But I'm trying to find some other ones. Um, again, not all of these presets are going to work for every photograph. Sometimes they work for some, sometimes they don't work for others. Kind of what you... Like, cafe. Cafe mood. I like that one. Sussle, uh, but really good. Um, yeah, narrow boat. Right? I don't know if I could live on a narrow boat. I, that wouldn't be my scene. I don't think. I, I'd like. I like four wheels. You know, so I could like travel more easily. I guess. But yeah, I wouldn't be off the grid either. You know, I, I, because what I'd do is I'd make videos on the go, and you know, every video there'll be a new backdrop or something like that. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. It'd be just so good, so good. One day, one day, eh? One day, we'll get there. Um. So how was that? I, I like that. That's a good edit. One thing I might just do is change the skin tones down a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting really hungry now. I'm getting so hungry. Would you... Um, but yeah, I hope, hope everyone's been enjoying this, you know. I'm going to call this live stream a complete success. 
you know, there's been some moments where I've just been terrible and like, you know, but I, I feel like people have enjoyed it, you know? And it's so good to see so many people still, it's like people here. It's like, we got into the tens. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah, this uh, this will probably be on YouTube afterwards uh, as well. If if I do it correctly, hopefully I don't. Uh, bagpipe guy. Um, which one is that one? Where's the this one here? Um, let me reset it. Let me reset this one. This one, like, is that the same guy I took a photograph earlier? Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Wait, look back here. It is. It's the same geezer. Geezer. <laughs> it's the same guy. You must be thinking I was following him or something. It must be like Jesus, this guy again. Um, where's the main photograph gone? So we can have a look at this one. What are you reckoning, reckoning tonight, people? Pizza? Sugar pizza? Pizza? I'm reckoning pizza. I'm starving. Um, a bagpipe, guys. So this one. I like this one because what was this shot at? What was this? This was 85, f 1.4, 132 thousandths. Uh, I can't speak. You know, that shot of speed. ISO 320. Um, we've got a good one. Love it, should do more at some point in the future. What about looking for the hashtag? People be into that? I I'd be down for that. I'd love to do that. Now I feel like that I can actually do it, you know. I mean, it's the time is fly, fly. I don't know about you, but the, the time has flown for me. Like, I was I was saying half an hour. It's now been like two hours. And you know what the best thing is? You don't have to edit it. <laughs> There's no editing. You could just, yep, there you go. Bit of content. If uh, it looks cool with um, that in the background, oh, Edinburgh Castle's just, it's mega. Um, I kind of, you know, let's, let's have a look at some of the ones. Alan C. Now, I named this one after Alan Walker. Has nothing to do with his look or aesthetic or anything like that. But um, it also reminds me of the uh, clip on YouTube of the whatever it is, the gerbil or whatever, going, um, going, Alan, Alan. Looking through the hashtag, yes. There is a, I don't know how many ha uh, photos of Alan a hashtag now. Uh, I think it's getting up to, it's over 7,000. Um, about 10,000. 10,000 is our aim. We'll get there. Um, good portrait. Which, which one? Which one? Which one? What about Skyfall? How's Skyfall look on this? Skyfall didn't look. Oh, I like Skyfall. How about that? Yes, I kind of like that. I like the tones and that. That's kind of moody. Oh, I do. That works. That that just works. Also, the Boek or the like, the blurred background of the eighty-five mil looks fantastic. Yes, that's it. Nice. Um, what was everyone's first cameras then? What was everyone's first cameras? What did they start with? Mine was a Fuji film bridge camera. I think it was the S. It's, it might not have been the right model. I can't remember the name of it. it was the S four fifty S three thousand? I can't S. 300 s4 300 i can't remember it was one of them ones um the next camera nikon d5 5 200 my first dslr my first dslr was this one and i want to buy it back uh because i broke it sadly rip i want to buy one of them back um nikon d5 200 and i saw uh today look at it it's you can buy one like really cheap now like like I could have 181 pounds. And if I did ever get that camera again, I would be doing a POV with it. Hands down, back to my route, starting where it all started with a DSLR with that one. Sony A7 III, that was your first camera. That is mega. That is, I'm jealous. That is cool. Right, how about that for bag, 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 bag guy? Bagpipe guy. God, that is a sentence I'm not trying to say. Sony A5100. Which is still in use, looking to upgrade this year. A5100. What's, which one's that? I'm confused. What's that? A5100. What's that? Oh, oh, cool. Oh, that's the A mount. Is that the A mount? Is that they got the A mount? I presume that's why it's called the A. Mad old. <laughs> hey, if it still takes photographs, it's decent, you know? Okay, yeah. Um, so, what are you looking to upgrade to? Uh, actually, I think you said earlier. I think you might have said earlier. I'm, um, hashtag is on 8.1k posts. What? Just checking, Leo. But jeez, me, we're so close. We're so close. We're getting there, guys. Like 10k. 
it's mad. It's mad. You, you guys are just oh, that's it. oh, look at that preset. Look at it. wait. I want to just I want to just throw it on again. I want to throw it on again. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. How good is that? I like that. I like that. I rate that. My first was an EOS 1000D. Bought it, used, and rocked it totally down. Do you still have it today? Or do you like, did you get rid of it? A73 or waiting to see if the new is really, oh, you don't know how much I want one of those architect, architect, one of those flippy, toty, rotatable screens. One of them. <laughs> can't, um, I can't even say the word. Articulating. The articulate. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, one of them screens. I want one of them so badly because I think people know I use a mirror on top of my camera. So it allows me to... <laughs> I can't speak. Yeah, I, I want one of them so badly because the Sony, is it the A7C? The basically A6400 but full frame version that has that screen and Sony need to introduce it to all of their cameras now. It, it just is like... It's also a lot easier for photography as well, I find, because you can, like, if you're going low to the ground, right, you can have your, like, screen here. So you're not, like, doing this. Y you know you know what I'm talking about, yeah? Where you're, like, I have a knee. Um, when you're literally taking a photograph, but you're literally, like, doing this, and it looks so awkward just to see what you're trying to take the photograph of. Uh, so, yeah, definitely need one of them. That could be a movie poster. What, this? You reckon? Maybe a horror. Ah. Uh, I mean, I'll take that. That's nice. Yeah, a movie poster. Nice. Edinburgh, Edinburgh is just a good poster. I still have it. Uh, I still have it. Uh, I use it as decoration. Yeah, that's the same what I do with the Nikon D5200. It's what I do with vintage cameras. I use them as decoration because they're ace. I need to get one of the vintage. Would people be interested in me trying to do vintage, like getting a vintage camera working and trying to do a peer review of it? That'd be really difficult, though, because I've taken two and a half thousand photographs here. Now that it's down to 400, when you're doing that type of photography, you own, oh, with film cameras, you only have 23 shots. I'd have to be so careful. First world problem. Oh, yeah, definitely. Nighttime with Thunder Homer poster. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see what you guys are driving up there. Also, is that a bit, is that a bird or is that a bit of dust? Oh, wait, is it, is it a helicopter? Didn't even notice that. Didn't even... Look at that. 61 megapixels. You could just make out a helicopter. Um, oh, this one. This is a really cool shot. I like this. Just a really nice one of his hand right here. Not, you know, I'm not saying that nice hands, but you know what I mean? Like, you, you can see that's the driver with the mirror right here. Um, and then you, we had to do something quite cool with this. Mate, we're, we're coming up to another nearly eight o'clock. What's this going too far? I'm having too much fun here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing these again. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> I've got to get to the chopper. I'm a terrible impression. I haven't watched that film in ages. So tonight, I'm probably gonna watch that film and have a pizza. Cause why not? Um. Oh, this is a good preset. That's really good at that. Look at that. Bump down, bump down the exposure a bit to bring a bit more, t uh, make it a little bit more darker because I think that kind of makes the subject pop a little bit more on uh, what we're focusing on. Crop it in a little bit, four by five. Um, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. I bring a bit of vignette into it. Shane, um, from the home of the first yard. It's, it's a good idea. You guys are just full of great ideas. You guys are like legends. Um, how about that? Maybe bring down it a little bit to here. Okay, how about that? I, I like that. That's good. It's just very, sometimes it's just the most simplest thing that makes the good, a really cool photograph. I'm going to export this one how it is, like so. Um, so then I'm just going to crop in and get another one, but like that. What do people prefer? Which crop? Do they prefer the first crop or do they prefer, prefer the second one? Because that's how good the 61 megapixel is. You can just crop into there. And it looks, it still looks so good. But I, I can't, I actually kind of prefer the second one, I think. I don't know. I'm interested to hear your guys in that one. Um, um, oh, let's have a look at a couple more questions before we do end. Um, before we do end, um, what have we got? What have we got? I was not able to answer all these questions. I think I answered a lot of them, to be fair. 
Um, what would be your perfect camera? What like ever, like spec wise? Like my perfect camera would have it would it would have to be a hybrid of video and photography. Um, so it would be a Sony most likely. Uh, but I reckon what we're we looking at. I think thirty megapixels max. Uh, 30 megapixels max, and then it will be have the similar focusing point of uh, focusing to a7 one, uh, a7 three, sorry, a7 s3, sorry, Sony a7 r4, a1, you know, that kind of focusing. Have a decent ISO range with denoiser like the a7 s3 has 422 10 bit 4K 120 FPS, um, 1080 240 FPS, um. I don't know that. I think that'd be it. You know, I think that'd be my perfect camera. You know, I, I think I think Sony with the A7. I think Sony A7 IV, whenever that does come out, I think that will be the perfect hybrid camera for photography and video. And hopefully they'll sort out the S log as well, because trying to edit S log on an 8-bit sensor is very difficult. Right, we'll edit three more photos, and I have to call it quits because I am literally just gonna. I just need, I need food. So there we go. I love that one. Um, what other one should we look at? Oh, you know what? 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 Which one should we do? Where is it? Where is it? Um, where is it? Where is it? I'm going to edit. I know which ones I want to edit. This one. I've already edited it. I've already edited it. Let me reset and edit it. I want to reset it. I'll show you this one. This one's such a good shot. This one here. I actually need to put a thing out, see which one prefer. The, the shambles or this one. This is Circus Lane in Edinburgh. If you haven't visited or if you did visit it, I hope you got a good shot of it. It is a really... Edit some of you. Absolutely not. <laughs> you, you, I, I, I am... Um, no, nah, not today. <laughs> I haven't, I need to actually, I haven't fully sorted out the ones of me yet. So, um, I mean, I could show you one. I could show you one really funny one, a uh, really bad one. Um, where is it? 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 Boom, there you go. There's one for me. There's one of me for you. Country villages are the bottom. Yeah, some country villages are like the best. Um, you've also got me running. I think you got me running here, <laughs> <laughs> like an absolute madman. <laughs> there you go. How's that? That's mad. Um, there you go. Um, what was I even looking at? I was looking at these things, not me running in the islands like a madman. Um, there's a couple of streets that are locked. Um, those cobble streets. Oh yeah, like these cobble streets are like. Look at that. Look at that. Let me let me show you how I edited this one. So as oh, let me restart it again because I I went off topic. As as I keep doing, I keep going off topic. I'm really bad at it. Please please computer. Why is my computer not behaving itself? There we go. So for this one, I'm going to use greeny color, I reckon, and I'm going to just pop up the exposure like so. And then I'm just going to turn down the highlights a bit so we get a bit more of that detail in the cloud right here, just like so, um, like that. Look at that. I can't. I like that. I really dig that. I should just. Put, do you think Sony will release a new HPSC in 2021? I don't know. I. What have they got up at the moment? What is it? Is it the A6600? That is their latest APS-C, I believe. Um, I don't. I think they'll be releasing another full frame, which will have to be the A74. Cropped? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't. I, I can't exactly ask Sony either. It's like, yo, are you gonna be releasing? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I just can't see it because didn't there wasn't there like I never like trust the rumor sites, but wasn't there something saying that um like Sony is like I don't know how it would even pick up on this, but they've activated have activated like five or three new models of camera. I don't know. Um Captain America, love you, Chris. Well, you got my name wrong, it's Curtis. Uh, but appreciate it nevertheless. 
<laughs> so I had to. That was pretty <laughs> cool. Um, to be fair, I've actually been called Chris by a lot of people in the past. It's like, I'm like, mate, my name's Chris. It's, you know, it's not the most popular name. And I like that. I like that my name is not popular. Sending note from Canada. Oh, I still want to go to Canada one day. How about that for an edit? I like that. And we can add a bit more grain onto this one as well. Rumors of the Z. Oh, is that the little one? The Z of VE10 next week. Oh. Oh, is there any, is there any other um, photography diaries? Is there any rumors for any other cameras next week being released? <laughs> no, Captain America, sorry. I just had to. It's funny. But no, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it, man. Just got to laugh, haven't you? Um, not sure they are launching something on the 7th. Please be the Sony a 4 Imagine if they announced it, okay? How mega would that be? If they're like, we're releasing the Sony a 7 IV. Because I don't know if Sony have done that in the past. I don't know if they've announced the camera, then just be like, oh, it's out. Yo. Unlike, unlike Canon, no, we've got to admit, Canon keep doing development updates. It's like, just stop doing the development updates and just do it. Not that I know of. I just saw that I heard that there was a replacement for the a Oh, really? But how long's the A6600 been out? That's not been out long, has it? Because I compared that in my Sony a sixty Sony A6600 release. When did that pop out? When did that come? Oh, it's only, oh, it's two years old now. All right. Okay. Okay. So two years old. Um, how about this for an edit? All right. There's another edit. Look at that. Look at that street. Those cobbles. You know, I love this one. I prefer this angle going down, looking up because you got the leading line with this yellow line right here. I kind of like that, but I could actually then change the um, hues a little bit to adjust some of those colors. Also, my phone's only on 10% of battery because I've been watching chat. This ain't good. Um, Right, there we go. Sort that out. Put that right. Oh, my phone's not going to stay put, is it? There we go. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. I don't know. I I, I hope Sony will just release. You know, oh, oh, would you be? Would you? Would you be looking at the um, crop sensor photography diaries if it came out, or would you not be interested? Because I don't think I'd be interested, honestly. Also, my camera has lost focus on me. There we go. How about that? How about that street? What about that, guys? You know, that is so good. I love it. I love it. Um, oh, oh, oh. Um, look at that. Um, oh, E. Um, I like this. Where was that? I just lost that photograph. I just lost it. Where was it? I like this one. This is kind of cool. I bet you could do it. Um, umbrella, suitcase. There you go. Not that. Um, okay. Um, what should we do next? Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, what about that? What about that? That's a nice simple edit. Oh, yeah, I asked earlier, Liverpool. When we go to Liverpool, right, uh, which one should I use? When I go to Liverpool, A6400 A6, or Sony A7R4, which one do we want to see? Do we want to see the, the crop censored beast back in action? It's a good camera. I would uh I would take a look at the APSC, however, the Z uh Z V looks like it's a video vlog camera. Yeah, I, I imagine those types of cameras are for those uh vloggers kind of ones. You know, um yeah, they they, they often use because you know it's it's compact, it does what it needs to do do. And their audience are obviously looking at, you know, the kind of specs we are. When we're doing videos like this kind of content, we're looking at good specs. We want lights right. We want, you know, for them, it's just like throw the camera in front of them because they're there. I don't know. The new one I'm referring to. Okay, yeah. You do much vlogging yourself. Is that why you'd be interested? Is it a video-centric camera? Obviously, it is a video-centric you know, what kind of videos, it depends what kind of videos you do, and also where you're traveling, um, because it might be a nice compact camera for, like, nice photography, but also really good for video as well, and I think the last time Sony did a camera like that, it was quite good for people, um, but yeah, right, we'll edit two more, is it two more? I think we'll edit two more, I like this one, look at this, um, which one should we put on this one? Color Explosion, no, not for that one, doesn't work for this one, that would work for another one, I like this one, Oh, I'm kind of digging that. I like the red. I might actually, mm, I don't know, I might turn on the red a bit. 
Well, they already are actually a little bit desaturated. Like that. Yeah, I kind of I vibe that. Yes. Oh, we have been going for two hours and ten minutes. If you if, if one of you have been here since the start, like man, oh good on you. I I say it's ace to see. You know, I I'm 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 totally not expecting people just to stay the whole time. You know, if you want to go off, that's fine. But it's just awesome. I have Leo. You have seen winner. <laughs> You're all winners for being here. Like, I'm, I'm, it's really nice to have that, you know, kind of support and everything. It, I never expected it, my first stream, to go this well. So that's kind of sick. But, right, we'll have a look at one. No, t t t two more again. Two more again. Two more. Then, then more. Um, I, I, I reckon after this, my streams will probably have to be a little bit less time, but, you know. Um, so this one, this one, this bike, this bike looks pretty cool. Um, see this one, like that one. This is actually for. This is actually aimed to be a night um, preset, but it actually works real well. And oh, look at the tones on that! Look at that! I like that. I rate that. I rate that. Yes, yes. Triumphs are awesome. Try, try a triumphs or Harley's. Which one is it? Uh, I, I, I'm neither because. <laughs> my first biking experience ever was my last biking experience ever. I mean, not like, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It was, um, it was a bit mad. I'll say, I'll say that story if I remember from my next stream. Let's just say that. Um, yes. How about that? Yes. Um, this, this kind of frustrated me. This is a n an old town. I can't remember the street name here. Right, but this this photograph would be mega. Triumphs are British, so actually, yeah. I didn't actually, to be fair, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that Triumphs were British, but got British engineering, got got to have it. Your presets work in uh, Lightroom Mobile. Um, yes. Last time I checked, um, when I was away in Scotland, I put them all onto my phone, and every single one of them worked. So yes, they work on my, um, mobile as well. Uh, so this photograph right here, this would have been amazing, right? But I am really frustrated with one thing. And it might just be here during COVID regulations so people can eat outside and everything like that and help businesses. But this, right? This photograph would be mega. Apart from this, this right here, it really frustrated me because it's like this photograph would be mega. But someone's just gone to B&Q, got some wood, got some chairs, decided to stick this right outside Put it right in front of my photograph and absolutely ruin the aesthetic of the street. They've ruined it. I hope it goes after, you know, you know, regulations and everything. It just looks, it's a hideous part of the street. Sorry, I ranted a bit there, didn't I, about a street and some, you know, little Billy Bob over here with his little hammers and his nails and just thought, you know what, I'll just plank that right there. There you go. You want a nice photograph? You're not having it. Um, right, we'll have a list one. Oh, what was that one? That cool, cool night again here looks pretty. Oh, look at that. I might have to change this one from being a night one because that looks also a sign falling down here. I'll, I'll Photoshop that out later, probably if I remember. Look at that. That's that's pretty cool. How does cinematic tone cinematic tones work? Um, this one, this one would work. That works. Oh. I like that. I've got like I, I don't know if anyone else is seeing it. The uh, tint, uh, tint, tint of green. I like that. I rate that quite highly. That's good. Um, and oh, the best place in Edinburgh. I think this is going to have to be our final photograph. The best place in Edinburgh to get a photograph of Edinburgh Castle. Boom! Right here. This is what street is it? What what alley is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember the alley. A good one, you know. It's I know, right? Sunny or rainy photography? Rainy, rainy every day. I take rain. Um, sunny, sunny is good, but I don't know. I just I love that with rainy photography, you have everything, right? You have reflections. You can you got rain up. I don't know. It just I feel like it's it's a lot more moody, and, and that's why. You know, and every time I nearly try and go out, I nearly, I think most times when I've gone out and done a POV, the most I've ever had is overcast with maybe a sprinkle of rain, right? Somehow, every time I go out and do a POV, I never get rain. 
Never. It's like, what are the chances? It's Britain. It should be raining. It's like, no, I got you. It's like, no, I want it to rain. What about, what about you? What about you? What about everyone else? What's everyone else into? Is everyone into sunny, overcast, rain, snow? What, what are you guys into? Some, uh, so someone who hates the rain, I have to agree. No, I like the rain. <laughs> I like the rain. <laughs> I'm saying that I wish it rained more sometimes. No, actually, no, no, not rain more. Maybe, maybe I can just control the rain for a day. So I say, I need to rain on this day, and I go out and shoot. Then the rest of the time, it's nice and warm and sunny. Good sunsets, everything like that. One day a week, just has to rain so I can get my photography. How about this preset? Yes. I don't even know which way I applied for this. Like, Edinburgh, like, if it was sunny on the days I was taking these photographs, it would give a completely different aesthetic and vibe. Sunny portraits, rainy streets. That is actually perfect. Y yeah, that I have to agree with that. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is it. I have, uh, I hate the rain, but I agree rain is better. Yeah, I, I hate, I hate being out in the rain. It's awful because everything gets wet. You feel soggy. You feel like a wet dog. It feels, pff, you just feel depressed sometimes because it's like, the photos will be worth it, but I'm f I'm cold. But you know, yeah, I hate the rain, but I agree it's good for photography. But I have to agree as well. Sunny portraits, yeah. I don't do much portrait work. I maybe want to try and do a bit more in the future. Um, it's not my kind of my scene, but I'd be up for doing it. Oh, this this is working real nice. But I don't know if anyone else has noticed the one thing I hate about this photograph right here. All right, shivering and the camera. <laughs> Yes, you like that. I'm taking the photograph, my hands. I'm always afraid of my camera in the rain. And the reflection works with uh, with, with a bottle. But I like the cloud, I like clouds. Yeah, that's true. It, you know, you could always like, oh, yeah, you could just like make the reflection, I guess. But I don't know. It doesn't give the same aesthetic to me. Water. Water, yeah. Um, I, get, I get what you mean there. Um, I don't know. I like the clouds, like this here. It had a bit, of, this was good because it, there was no rain, right? Well, it had been raining, but it wasn't raining here. Had the clouds, this just added to that photograph so much more. But the one thing I don't like here, two things technically, the graffiti, right? And the graffiti on the bin. Who's done that? You ruined it. You ruined it. Who, you put this graffiti, I'm going to have to Photoshop that now. All right, we'll Photoshop this image and then we'll call it quits. You say water like, <laughs> guy, man, water. <laughs> I think I was doing it more by purpose. It's more like water, 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 not water. My oh, guy, Martin, what a legend, what a guy. Yeah, shivering cameras are never, never fun. It's never fun. So for this one, let's see if we can sort this out. I don't know if this is going to work. Honestly, this one here, this is going to be, this is a bit of an awkward one, but we'll give it our best shot. Um, when we're looking, content where fill, let's see, is it going to do it or is it going to mess up? Yeah, it's going to mess up. So I've got an alternative idea for it, okay? Because it's obviously getting confused by these lines here. See these? It's probably picking up on them. So if I just go, oh no, I went over the line. If I just go over the line, not over it, but go right there. Now do it, it might pick it up better. Um, content of where fill, yes, yes, it's done it. Look at that, boom! Never know it was there. Ooh, I love the content of where now. This one, this one, like, oh, that's a bit shaky, but this might have to be done uh, manually. So, um, because there's this tree here, so I might have to just get the clone stamp tool. Graffiti is the worst. Yeah, especially, especially, right, look at this street. Look at this beautiful, like, view. And some yobbo has decided, oh, I've got a paint of graffiti. I'm going to ruin it. It's not even good art. You've just, what is that? You know, you just, arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> why? Honestly, why? Why, why do it somewhere like this? I mean, that's the one thing I'm really glad about the um, shambles about. There isn't any graffiti down there. Um, and, the, and the weird thing... Oh, I'm, I'm on the wrong background. And the weird thing is as well, there was like, I don't think there's any CCTV down the shambles. 
Oh, wait, let me just... I'm messing this up. I'm making it worse now. All right, just a little bit like that. Just tip-tap, 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 tip-tap. Because even though this is going to be noticeable to me, me and you, because you've seen me edit it, when someone looks at the photograph on, like, YouTube or, so they, or Instagram, I should say, they're not going to even bat an eyelid that this was edited, like this was removed. Although in a tracksuit with baseball cap. You mean a baseball cap, like, backwards, and then trousers halfway down his leg so you can really see his boxers. Like, bro, dress yourself properly, you muppet. He's like, there you go. Okay, there. There, there, there. It's just like, you know. How about that? So there you go. There's the final throw that back into Lightroom. And then we're going to call it done. If anyone's got any final questions before I end the stream today, please let me know. But it's just been a successful Hey, it's been successful. I've enjoyed it. I've gone way over how two hours and 20 minutes. First stream. I've loved this. I've actually really enjoyed this. Thank you. I'm glad I'm glad people have enjoyed it. That is great to hear. I and yeah, I will be doing a proper more focused photography editing tutorial in the future this is just a little bit of like showing you how i process things i know i've been mainly like talking to you guys as well uh but hopefully you've enjoyed that hopefully it isn't you know i didn't want to just sit here so slum and just be like this is how i edit oh watch this slider go we watch this slider go we you know i didn't want that now actually that <laughs> i actually made it a little bit better <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I've been doing it all wrong. Actually, put that about there. That's fair. Well, I don't know. Well, that actually kind of worked. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad people have enjoyed it. Let me export it and I'll say, not cringy at all, loved it. That is what we want to hear. That is what I love to hear. That is, that is I appreciate that. Thank you. And um, yeah, next one, I don't know. I might look for the hashtag CP photos. Maybe do challenges in the future. Um, and yeah, and now I need to figure out how to end the stream um so this is gonna be fun um but yeah all right i'm gonna say bye now guys to everyone thank you for joining the stream i scream the stream i'm glad that everyone has enjoyed it but i'm gonna say goodbye to you now and take care um keep creating stay awesome peace um have i ended it <laughs> no <laughs>